All right. This should look like it's uh it's back up. <laughs> looks like it's back up. Looks like it's go it looks like it's going decent now. See the 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 green the green line is working. All right, people, I'm back. All right, so you guys can see me now. You guys can see me. So hopefully hopefully this time the the stream will will, will work how it's supposed to work. Because my internet is, is acting janky like a motherfucker. But anyway. But again, real quick. Um, make sure you guys get the book. How to have sex to him in a day. Ebook, hard copy, or um, audio book. Also, make sure you guys get tickets to the Truth About the Game seminar. Alright? So it looks like the, the stream is uh, working again. Looks like it's working fine now, so we are back up in the up in the building. But anyway, well, let me see. Let me see. Hold on. You was popping. Hey, what's going on, Mr. Car? It was good. It was good. What's going on with you, man? Who's it? Oh, what's nothing, what's your name? Oh, nothing really. You said oh, Jonathan. I'm from Atlanta. All right, what's popping with you, man? Oh no, uh, just just my girl. She just been complaining that she don't feel like it, that she's a Ferrari to me. She said she don't feel like she's. She said she feels like what? Like you're not a priority. Like sh that you're not making her a priority. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Basically, yeah. Okay, so and what what's happening though? What's the, how long you guys been together? Uh, we've been together for about three months. Um, we're over a long distance. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we met on Facebook. Mm -hmm. Okay. And okay. I went down there, and she came down here within these three months. Mm -hmm. And for whatever reason, we she just don't really feel like she's a Ferrari to me because I be talking on Facebook and working and stuff like that, and she don't really feel like you know we connect. And so what? So what she? So she basically saying that she feels like you're ignoring her. You're not making her priority. Is that what she's saying? Uh, yeah, but the thing about it is that we, we talk before work, after work, we talk a little bit, um, but I like to cut, keep it keep it short sometimes, mm -hmm. some days I'll, I'll talk longer, but it's just, you just feel like I'm trying to, I'm trying to like, I'm hiding something where I'm not really being fully present with her. Man, listen, th this is the thing, man. First of all, you say you haven't seen each other for three months? Yeah, no, like, like, on, like, on, like, on long distance. And wait, and, and wait, hold on, hold on, because I'm, I'm missing something here. So, it's, it's been three months, and y'all in a long distance relationship. Yeah. And how? And wait, and where do you, where do you live, and where does she live? I'm in Atlanta. She's in Washington. Okay. And how many times uh, do you guys speak or or see each other? Um, we speak every morning, every, at night, and. In, in between the in between our our days, we'll we'll talk. Man, listen, listen, dude. This is and wait. How did y'all and wait? And how did you become boyfriend and girlfriend? Uh, we we were just talking and we we just try to you just we just chat, chat it up for about two weeks and we just made it official. So y'all were chatting for two weeks, and you and then y'all just became boyfriend and girlfriend like that. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. And y'all met where? Again, because I, I just want to get this whole story straight. And we y'all met? Oh, no. Yeah, yeah, we, we met. We so, so, with December, we were, we were chatting. And then January, I flew down there to meet her for the first time. Okay. Yeah, I met on, so y'all met online? Yeah, online. Yeah, we met on, we met on Facebook. Man, listen, this is this is what you got to do, man. First of all, this that whole long distance shit is, is usually... Uh, 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 um, usually long distance, the relationships don't really work. You understand? Unless unless you guys have already been together for a while. You know, like usually that could sort of work. But if you haven't been together for a minute, that's going to be hard to really make happen. So now what's going to happen is, is that, and like you said, this is happening already where she's saying, hey, you're not giving me enough space and energy and all of that other type of shit. Y'all yeah. haven't really done nothing yet. Y'all haven't been through nothing yet. Y'all haven't, nothing's going on. Like y'all just started fucking with each other. So what I would suggest you do is tell her this. Be like, look, you know, you cool. I like seeing you, hanging out with you, talking to you. But um, 
we can't do this type of shit right now. Meaning you could date her, but don't, I think you need to take, you know, backtrack a little bit. Be like, look, we could, you know, when I get time to see you and when I get time to call you, I'll come through. You understand? Or whatever. And then, and vice versa. If, when she get time to see you, then she could come through. But y'all making this shit a fucking, you know, mad serious. Y'all just met and y'all doing this long distance shit. That's going to be an issue. Because look how it's already an issue. She's complaining about not getting enough time and energy and whatever. And y'all just started your relationship. That's not a good, you know, thing to, to start off with. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. So, you know, like... No, nah, so I'll say I would say this, just you know, let her know that you want to scale it back a little bit. You understand? Not saying you don't want to see her anymore, but it shouldn't be this thing where like basically don't make it so serious yet. That's all I'm saying. Okay. You, know, you see what I mean? Because in, in bringing it to her like this, be like, look, you know, um, I like you, I wanna keep you know, I want this to, to keep going, but I don't want to put too much pressure on us. So this is what we should do. You understand? And then just set something up to where it'd be like, look, you know, I'll come visit you this time. You could come visit me this time or whatever. Whenever you have time, whenever I have time, but let's not make it serious. Y'all should, are you seeing other girls? Y'all, you're not seeing no other girls now because y'all made a boyfriend and girlfriend, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm not, I'm not seeing anyone. See, I'm not that's, seeing anyone. She's not seeing anyone, you see, know? See, that, that's, that's going to be, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Okay, I'm not saying it can't work. I'm just saying it's going to be difficult. So yeah, I'll tell you what I'm saying is, is that you could either do one of two things. One, you could backtrack and say, let's just be dating. We could see other people and we could still see each other. Or two, you could keep it how it is and just keep seeing her. But you got to have some like ground rules. Like, look, I'll holler at you once or twice a week and that's it. You understand what I'm saying? And I'll come see you this time or you come see me that time and that's it. You understand? Because I, I but I suggest you do the the first thing I was saying was to backtrack and let it be y'all just dating and y'all see other people and y'all see each other when y'all want to see each other. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, I feel you. Man. Because right now that shit gonna be is gonna be, you know, right now it sounds like it's it's heading for disaster already. You feel what I'm saying? Like you shouldn't be too yeah, much saying like, the shit. That's the thing, going crazy. It's like it's like it's like I'll say I'll say goodbye, but the thing I'll, I'll still be up on Facebook and stuff, and she get upset with that, you know. See, and that's the thing. You got to nip that shit in the bud. Like, her getting all upset and funny style about shit, you got to be able to manage that shit quickly. If you really like this yeah, chick and you yeah. see something that could go on where you got to nip all of that shit in the bud, her sort of, like, getting angry about shit and all that, be like, look, this is what it is. This is what I got time for. And that's that. I wouldn't have gotten into no damn relationship with her this quick. You feel what I'm saying? So, you know. Yeah, I'll tell you that. So, yeah. So, I would say, I would say try to backtrack it. Try to you know, be on some casual shit with her and then see where it could go from there so that y'all don't put too much pressure on the shit and fuck it up at this point. You feel me? But, um, yeah, I'm, but I'm yo, man, right. I, I appreciate the call, my dude. All right. So All right, I'm going to let you, man. I'm going to let you later, man. Yeah, man, this fucking long distance shit. Y'all be wild with that shit. God damn. All right. What's popping? Who's this? What's going on? What's going on, Lucario? This is uh, Carlos from the ATL again, man. The 70 plus dude. All right, what's going on with you, bro? Man, you know I got some more stories to tell, man. All right, like, let it, let it, let, let, let it, let it know. I'm just listening to the podcast about long distance relationships and stuff. Mm. I don't know why brothers just won't deal with what's in their city, man. I don't <laughs> yeah, know. I think it's more convenient that way. That's what I'm saying. But I'm a, <laughs> I'm a digress from that, man. But um. Man, I, I got a crazy story, man. I've been meeting some more, man. And like I said, like, I don't accept their numbers. I give it out. Mm -hmm. Man, guys, it's nothing better than just chilling, not thinking about women, just chilling on a regular day, and your phone go out with a random text message from a chick that remember you that you don't even remember. Exactly. Real I, shit. Real shit. It, Facts. It, it, it's <laughs> nothing better than that, man. I had it happen to me, um... This morning when I got up, because the day I ain't have to go to work, man, and mm. I was like, damn, I was sitting up here trying, I was like, damn, I know I was at that location, I know me, I flirt all the time, I know I flirted with multiple women, but I don't remember who, mm. no name or none of that, but they obviously remember me, because she said, yo, I met you a few days ago, right. and such and such, mm -hmm. and I'm like, I know I met you, but I don't know who the hell you are, but I ain't gonna tell her that, but I'm just thinking that to myself. Right, right. Then, then one man, I talked to her, whatever, she agreed to, um cheat with me mm -hmm. and we were talking I, I got on the phone one day she playing with herself and all of that nice man we had set a day to actually get together right and I didn't purposely stand her up it's just I have other things going on work and I don't know what it is because I'm getting older maybe women ain't that big of a 
you know, like how I used to be like, damn, I got to fuck him now. Right. Man, you know, she hit me up out the boot, called me like yesterday, was like, man, what what happened? We were supposed to get up, my dude went around, and, mm. and I'm laughing to myself, like, oh, damn, I'm sorry, I ain't mean to stay, you know, we're going to have to set another day, you know, I got some stuff going on, man, so, right. the game is real, man, if y'all, if y'all flirt with many women every day like I do, you'll get some disses, you'll get some chicks playing games, but you're going to get the ones that's about your game. <laughs> exactly, real shit, man, that's what's up, man, I, that's good to hear. I like to hear that shit when it, you know, good shit when it's popping off like that, man. That's what I, and, 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 and that's kind of like what I, you know, what I want to talk about today in, in the show is, you know, certain cats just don't believe um, that the game can help them. You feel what I'm saying? That's what a lot of cats is out there like that. You feel me? It really can. And to be honest, man, I'm not even somebody that I consider to have, like, spectacular game. Now, I do have a way with words. I'm very extremely confident. Mm. But I'm nowhere near your level in terms of when it comes to it. But the thing is, I flirt with so many people a day, and I have a I don't care attitude mm. when it comes to dealing with them. And I give out my number so much. It's like, by default, like you said, by default, somebody ends up hollering back at me and texting me. Right. And that's all that matters. The ones that I'm looking for in my stable is the horses that want to be there. Mm. I'm not worried about the ones that don't want to join the race. Right, and right. And I eliminate the ones who don't want to join the race is by, hey, giving them my card or giving them my number. So if you was bullshitting around, you're not going to hit me up if you're bullshitting around. And if you do hit me up, like I said before, I'm, I'm going to do something very minute, like I'm going to text you. Right. I'm testing you out to see how you respond to that. And if you can't respond to my texting you, you're not going to respond to my phone call. So, therefore, you delete it as soon as I text you, man. So, I came up with a whole different method. Right, on right. On how to deal with them, on how not to waste my time, how to meet them effectively, mm -hmm. how to get them all out the way if they're trying to do something and everything, man. So Exactly. That's you know, real so talk, man. That, That's real shit, man. I appreciate you. I appreciate you calling in and dropping that game for cats so they can really see that it's real. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, man. I appreciate you, man, for doing what you're doing, man. Keep doing what you do, man. And, you know, hopefully some of them get it and the ones that won't, you know, mm -hmm. just, just let it be what it's going to be, man. Right, right. Real talk. That's what's up, man. All right. I'm going to holler at you, man. All right. All right. Peace, peace. All right. So before I get into the next callers, um, real quick. Um, let me, cause, I, cause earlier the fucking show was acting up. The, my internet was on some goofy shit, so I had to plug it out, plug it in, reset, do all this other crazy shit. But um, so before I get into the topic again, I want you guys to make sure that you get How to Have Sex with Two Women a Day, the ebook, hard copy, and audiobook. And remember, I autograph these when you get it. Okay, so you got to get those joints. Also, make sure you get tickets to the Truth About the Game seminar, which is on April 14th, okay? April 14th, get your tickets now. Go to MrLocario.com or click the link below, you feel me? But um, but before I get into, you know, the next callers and stuff, I just wanted to talk about, you know, why certain dudes think that the game's not going to work, you understand? And the reason why I even came up with this topic was because... You know, I put out the video the other day where I was talking about, you know, men are scared to let women know that they want to um, fuck. You feel what I'm saying? And, um, yeah, um, no black men allowed. It's, it's also available on Audible. But if you get the Audible version, you don't get the two bonus joints that come with the audiobook. So I'm just letting you know. So if you want the bonus joints, you got to get it on my site. But anyway, um. I put out a video the other day and I was like, you know, dudes are scared to let chicks know that they want to smash. And certain guys are like, oh, but that's not going to work. That's impossible. You know, that can't ever happen and all this other shit, right? And it only works for good looking guys or guys that have a lot of money or whatever, whatever. So the thing is, dudes, they, you know, they don't believe that the game works or that you can go up and do certain things and say certain things. And the reason why they don't believe it it's because they have not put themselves in enough situations to see that it works. You feel what I'm saying? Also, too, it's like this. You can become that dude, right? You can become the guy who is the type of dude who experiences those experiences. You understand what I'm saying? But the thing is, most cats don't want to put themselves out there and learn game to, to be able to be that type of guy to where women want to... Uh, fuck you on a regular basis 
You understand? Because this is the thing. You're going to have, you're always going to have guys who uh, get it easier than certain dudes. And then you're going to have guys who um, have trouble getting anything popping. So the guys who have trouble getting anything popping, those are usually the guys that they don't believe that the game works. But see, this is the thing though. Um, just because you're not getting shit popping, that does not mean that it's it's it has to be that way all the time. It doesn't mean that it's going to be like that forever. See, the thing is you can change that shit. You understand what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. You you got to be able to change it. Once you change it, then you can you become that dude who women find attractive and then you will start to see those things happening for you. You see what I'm saying? It's really that it's really that's what it is. But see, most cats, they think the game is unbelievable. They're like, oh, this can never happen because they never put themselves out there. And they never put themselves out there, so they don't even know where they're at in the game. They don't know how women are going to respond to them. You feel what I'm saying? So, you know, dudes just got to really uh, get up on that. But I'm going I'm to get into more of that in a minute. Let me see who this is. Yeah, what's going on? What's popping? Yeah, what up? Who's this? Uh, it's Kevin, man. What's up? Shelly, you sound mad, you know... Mad, uh, uh, upset or something? What happened? What's going on? Oh. Yo. Hello? Yeah, I can hear you. Go ahead. Yeah, so, um, I have a pretty big question to ask you. Um, mm -hmm. I wrote it down, so, um, like, mind the grammatical mistakes or whatever when I'm reading it to you. Mm -hmm. So, uh, here it goes. So, um, I wanted to know, uh, what should we be doing in regards to getting more women? Mm -hmm. Um, we being men, so uh, many women tell us that we shouldn't be chasing women and that we should be focused on our purpose in life and not the women. Mm -hmm. I recently came across a guy on YouTube, um, he's a subscriber of yours, his name is Everett Overton or something. Mm -hmm. uh, he makes a lot of good videos, he's a sub of yours, and uh, he talks about how he doesn't give women the least bit of attention, mm -hmm. which is also something that you talk about and um, other co dating coaches. Mm -hmm. And whenever he has time, he'll give it attention to them but other than that, they get no attention from him. He says this is the characteristic of an alpha male, mm -hmm. and this is what women want. He also talks about how there's been women in his life that he paid the least effort or investment in, mm -hmm. and yet they were crazy about him. Mm -hmm. There was one girl that was about to get married to um, quote-unquote beta male, and when she came over to his house, all he did was like you know give her a wine, mm -hmm. a bottle of wine. Meanwhile, the beta male was taking on her trips and you know buying her all these things. Right. But she was more. She was more like um, crazier about the guy who barely did anything for him, for her. Um, how is it that women go crazy when you treat them like shit mm. by not paying for dates, and etc.? But when dudes do pay and buy them stuff, they get like nothing. They get no sex, nothing. Mm. I'm confused. I'm a young guy. I'm uh, 21, turning 22 soon. I want to know if I should focus my attention on finding myself mm. and ignore women. Or, and if that will help me get more women in life, or should I go out every Friday and weekend to spit game and get mm. better at attracting women? Mm. Many dating coaches, such as yourself, have pointed out that clubs and bars are not the best place to pick up women because most of them just go there for attention and to boost their confidence. Mm. I guess what I'm trying to say is, uh, should I find myself my purpose in hopes of attracting more women, or should I continue to approach them here and there? Mm. When you're on your purpose, does that mean you don't approach women? Or, you know, I'm just confused as, like, what does this mean? Because there's so much mm. information out there, right. and one may just get lost. Right. So it was a lot. So, um, well, well the thing is, asking. well, the thing is this, you know, um, um, uh, shout out to my dude, Everett Overton. I'm actually going to be doing an uh, interview with him um, later this week and shit. So, y'all, you know, check out for that. But, um, but yeah, so basically, you know, um, what he was saying in that, in that um, video where he was like, you know, I'm not even thinking about the chicks. I'm not even uh, worried about them and all of that. And they, you know, they still come around. They still fuck with me. What you guys got to understand is, is that, um, and, and this is to answer your question, is that when you, when you get to a level where you understand, you know, yourself and you're comfortable with yourself and you're, you're like, I have a take it or leave it attitude with women that comes across before you even talk to the girl. So when you talk to the girl and when you're interacting with the girl, 
then she can she can feel that and she could notice that. You know, saying this is and this goes great to the topic of the show because the show I'm talking about how certain guys don't believe that you can do certain things in a game, or certain guys don't believe that you can get certain things popping. Because the thing is, when it comes to women, women don't like to be chased. You understand what I'm saying? Women like to be women like to be pursued, right? So you can pursue a woman. Right. But you don't want to chase a woman. You understand what I'm saying? But at the same time, you're asking, you know, should you focus on your purpose and do all do all this stuff? You should always be focused on your purpose, period, whether you're dealing with chicks or not. Now, when we say focus on your purpose, what that means is, is that while you're focusing on your purpose, you can still deal with women. But the way that you deal with women is going to be different because you actually are focusing on your purpose, You're actually doing the things that you want to do. So, for example, let's say. You know, a, a guy's purpose is to, you know, uh, feed the homeless or something like that. You understand? Like, that's what he likes to do. He likes to volunteer at soup kitchens and, you know, help charities and all this other stuff. Right. So he's doing that. Right. He's doing that. But he's in, in conjunction with still dealing with women. You understand what I'm saying? So he's doing that and he might, you know, be at a bar with one of his boys hanging out and there's a girl, you know, next to him and he might just have a conversation with her. Then he might get her number or exchange numbers, right? So he's doing that, but when he's talking to her and he's interacting with her, he's doing that on a non-needy, non-clingy type of energy because he doesn't care if he gets her number or not. He doesn't care if she calls him or not. You understand? And so that's it's a it's a different energy you bring versus a guy who cares. And so a guy who cares versus a guy who doesn't really care that much, it's going to be a two totally different things. And the girl, she can see that and she can feel that. So what happens is that girl, when she f finds a guy who doesn't care, she has a different uh, feeling and interaction with him versus a guy who seems like he's desperate to get with her. You see what I'm saying? And so the guy this who... Is, this is something you can't mm -hmm. fake, right? Like you cannot fake to care. Like, like how do you like mm -hmm. even do this? Like, if you do care, it's like, mm -hmm. how do you fake it to the point mm -hmm. or whatever of, like, not showing that you care. I don't well, that's the, like, well, that's the thing. I that. But that's the thing. This is the thing. You, you're, you're, you're not supposed to fake it. It's supposed to really be real. So this, and this is not yeah. even about not caring or not. So this is what I'm saying. So let's say, for example, let's say, for example, let's say you, let's say you are so busy, right? Like I'll get, I'll give you an example for myself t today. Today I had some Skype calls. I had to uh, mail out some books. I had to do some videos. Um, I had to uh, reply to some bad boy membership emails, right? So, I, you know, let's say I had a girl that, um, you know, I met the other day and I got her number and I'm, you know, I, I called her maybe like, you know, uh, yesterday or something, right? I'm so busy today that I don't even remember that I got a call or that I called her yesterday or that she didn't call me yet. You, you understand what I'm saying? So since I'm so busy and I'm on my purpose, I'm not thinking about her. You see, you see how that works? Because I'm actually doing something. I actually am busy. I actually have other things going on. I might even actually have other girls I'm talking to. You see what I'm saying? So that, that's what we mean by you being on your purpose because when you're on your purpose and you're doing your thing and you're doing the things you like to do, then what happens is that even if you're dealing with this girl or that girl, you're not sweating her because your life and your energy is filled with so much other shit you're doing. You see what I'm saying? So the girls become the afterthought. The girls become the icing on the cake, but your life is the cake. Do you understand what I'm saying? And so that's what we, that's what we mean is that you got to find something that you are into things that you like to do, things that's going to take your time. And even, and also even other women, meaning that let's say you meet, meet a girl named Stacy, you're really attracted to Stacy, but you're not going to sweat Stacy. Why? Because you got a lot of other shit to do. And you also got Jennifer, Monica, Susie, and Tiffany that you're talking to. Do you understand what I'm saying? So you got but four or five girls. If you're not showing interest, mm -hmm. then how will they, you know, even like, what they get like, okay, so this man's not interested in me, let me just like move along. Like, I want someone that's like completely interested in me. You know how like a lot of girls say stuff like that? Mm. It's like, oh, I want this. I, I know that's like a really big thing. Like, don't listen to what girls say. Mm. But, I mean, you know, like, um, if you're not showing interest in them, mm. then they'll just, you know, be like, okay, fine, whatever. And then, you know, move on. No, no, on. it's not, it's not about, you know it's I mean? not about, no, it's not about not showing any interest in them. What it is, is that you're setting up the situation for them to actually chase you or to be intrigued by what you're about. So, for example, if I if I meet some girl, you know, today or something, um, and let's say I get her number 
and I just text her and I say, hey, you know, um, let's get together on the, by Friday or the, at the end of the week. Friday, let's go to the Main Street Bar. And then she's like, cool, sounds good, right? And now this is on Monday or something. I'm doing this now. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I don't. I don't talk to her at all. I don't send her a text. I don't send her a call. I don't like her shit on Instagram. I don't do shit. I'm so busy doing everything that I'm doing. So when Friday approaches, she's already thinking about or excited to see me, and she's wondering what, what how am I going to be about? You know, who's this guy, Mr. Locario? What is he going to be about? What's going to be the date? What's going to you know? She's excited about that because she actually wants to interact with me now. Let's say if I got her number and I said, hey, let's get together on Friday, and then I'm calling her Tuesday, calling her Wednesday, hitting her up Thursday to, to try to entertain her, doing all this other shit. She's like so, you know, sick of me by Friday. She's like, I don't even want to see this nigga. Like, he's been calling me all week. You feel what I'm saying? So that's what we're saying is that you're not ignoring, you're not totally ignoring them. What you're doing is you're setting something up and then you're, you're setting it and then you're forgetting it. You understand what I'm saying? You're setting it up and then you see her when you're supposed to see her. You understand? And then if, if, let's say, for example, you're trying to get with a girl or text her and she flakes, you understand? You'd be like, all right, well, she flakes. I'm going to move on to the next girl. I'm going to keep doing my shit. And then that girl that flakes, if she likes you, she's going to wonder, like, damn, how come so-and-so hasn't called me back? How come he hasn't hit me back? And then she'll holler back at you. You see what I mean? So that's all it really is, is that you're, 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 it, when we talk about, you know, you be, becoming that dude who is... Uh, you know, that guy who's on his purpose, what you have to understand is, is that you become more attractive to women. You understand what I'm saying? So then you don't have to do all this extra shit because they actually want you. They actually want to fuck with you. They're wondering why hasn't this guy called me, you know, and, and, and the reason why you haven't called her is because you got shit to do. You got other stuff going on. You're not sweating her. It's like, whatever. If I see you, I see you. If I don't, I don't. It's an attitude that you have that comes off through your energy and through your actions. And that's the thing that makes the girl want to chase you. That's the thing that makes a girl. So the thing when we talk about you ignoring her, it's not that you're ignoring her blatantly. It's that you're so busy doing your shit that the ignoring comes automatically. And then what happens is that since she's being ignored, she's like, where's this high value dude at that I want to see? How come I haven't heard from him all week? And then that's when she calls you. She's like, what's up? Or she's excited to see you on the day of the date. That's all it is. It's not really you trying, because the thing is, if you're trying to create that on a fake on a fake level, it doesn't really work to a certain extent. Because even if you do see her again on a date, she's going to know that it's it's not real. She's gonna see it. She's gonna feel it. She's gonna be like, "Yo, this guy, you know, he's so he's sweating me. He's doing all this other stuff." So that that's all we mean by that. You feel what I'm saying? It's not it's not um, you're necessarily where. You're just totally not calling a chick because everything still has to be balanced. It's always a balance. So you give her enough attention to where she knows you're interested, but you're also so caught up in whatever you're doing with your, you know, the shit that your purpose and also fucking with other chicks that what happens is by default, you're not sweating her. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's what it is. That's what it is. Does this mean for us, uh, for us young guys? To, like stop going to bars and nightclubs and stuff like that because mm. most of the times it'll just be women that are just you know trying to get, boost their confidence, get men to compliment mm. them, etc. Now you can you like, can like, still no, you can still like, now you can still go to bars, you can still go to clubs, you can still hang out, you can still do all that shit if you want. What I'm saying is is that when you're there and you're interacting with women, everything is about how you're doing it. You understand what I'm saying? So what I'm saying is that if you you can meet a chick at the bar. And y'all exchange numbers and then, you know, you could either set a date with her and then see her that later that week or whatever it is, or you could get her number and start sweating her every day and showing her that you ain't got shit going on. And that's what's going to repel her away from you. You see what I'm saying? It's all depending on how you do it. It all depends on how you take the interaction from point A to point B. So are you going to be sweating her and, and sucking her butt? Or are you going to be doing your own thing at the same time letting her know you want to make something happen? You see what I'm saying? It's, it's, so it's, it's just the way that you set it up. That's, that's all it really is. And that's, that's the thing that guys got to understand. It's like you're, you're you, you know, and, and you, you have better interactions when you're, on, when you're doing your own thing. Because by default, it's going to happen automatically. See, there's a difference between a guy faking 
that he got shit going on and a guy actually having shit going on. So when you actually have shit going on, then you dealing with the girls just automatically is going to is going to be a different feel. It's going to be a different way you're coming at them. Just automatically. You, you don't even have to think about it. There's going to be times where you're going to even probably forget that you were uh, that you even talked to a girl until she texts you back. So there's times where like even the the, uh, the last caller that called. He the do that the, the the do that said he smashed like seventy chicks. He said there's times where now he just gives a girl his number, and he might forget about her, and he don't he don't even remember her until the only way he remembers her is that she called him. And he's he's like oh shit this is so and so what's good, because he's so busy doing his other shit. And that's what we're talking about is that you gotta be that dude who's actually you know, at that point, and it, and it takes time for you to cultivate that for you to really dig deep and figure out who am I, what I'm about, what do I like to do and focus on that at the same time while you're dealing with chicks. So I don't want you to get confused and think, oh, well, if I, if I focus on my purpose, I can't talk to chicks. And if I talk to chicks, I can't focus on my purpose. You can do both, but it has to be a balance. You understand what I'm saying? And, and that's the, the balance. I just, find it so, I just find it so annoying that we've, we've been lied to our whole lives, like, you know, with movies and stuff like that, telling us that, you know, we have to give flowers and, like, you know, like, care oh, yeah, about well, them, that's... et cetera, et cetera. <laughs> it's just like, this is not the case at all, man. Right, <laughs> oh, right, man. right. Well, that, you know, that's, that's, you know, that's that Hollywood shit. You can't, you know, they doing that to, to, to sell movies and, you know, create some bullshit. You know what I mean? So it's I know, like, but even, even even on even on like Twitter or Instagram, like you know, girls will be posting stuff like, "Oh, I just want a man that will care about me, etc." Mm. Et but like when they do get a man like that, most likely they're in the friend zone or mm. something like that. Well, so, and that's why, and that's why you can't listen to what chicks are saying because they're just talking yeah. on. They're talking about a part of them that because it's not that chicks don't want that. You understand what I'm saying? But what you got to understand is is that. What you want, which is the fucking, you understand what I'm saying? That's not what they're talking about. Like chicks on when they're talking about, oh, I want a guy who's gonna do this and do this for me. They're talking about a beta male type of dude who's going to like provide them with all the attention and 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 flowers and candy and caring and all that other shit. But what they don't tell you is that alpha dude who they want to fuck, they want to suck his dick when they first meet him. That's that's what they're not telling you. You see what I'm saying? That's what they're not yeah. promoting. And so this is why you got, it's important to learn the game so that you know that that's part of it. So that when you do approach a girl, you're approaching her on that type of and that type of level. You feel what I'm saying? So that's that's what mm-hmm. that is. But yo, dude, I appreciate the call, man. I, I, I like yeah, that you well, had your... What, what, your uh, one, more, one more last thing I wanted to say. Real, real quick, real quick, because I got a few people last, going real quick. Last good. week or two weeks ago, mm-hmm. I... Um, I called you and I said that if you're going to be coming out with a bad boy membership about how to maximize your um, sex appeal type of thing or like mm. throughout all your experiences in dating like things that you found common that you know physically women like things that, like you know men should wear mm. um, things how men you know like the way you should walk uh, like how you should mm. hold yourself carry yourself etc mm. if you can make like a video or like even a bad boy membership thing or, mm. or something like that that would be great yeah I'll probably I'll probably because I, I, I know in the bad boy membership I have something on there about like how to improve your appearance, how to you know, um, how to be more masculine, have stuff like that. But I could do like I'll probably do something like that for the Patreon, um, you know. So make sure you get on the Patreon. So Patreon's like ten dollars, twenty dollars, whatever you know, whichever one you want to pledge. So I'll probably put it on that, and then you know, and make that happen. But I'll, I'll get to that at some point soon. You feel me? Uh, cool. Yeah, man. Appreciate right, the geez. call, bro. All right. Geez. All right. It's popping. Who is this? What's going on? Oh, shit. What What's up? going on, Mr. Carver? I'm chilling. What's going on with you, man? Who's this? I'm good. Hey, this is uh, David Hugo from Minnesota. All right. What's going on with you, bro? Hey, so, yeah, I just started kind of watching the show and, like, getting to know who you are in, like, the last couple months. Mm-hmm. And, like, basically kind of burning that shit. Right. Yo, hey, you, 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 I don't know, you kind of really made sense out of, like, you know, this whole, like, you know, uh, kind of just understanding how women work and whatnot, bro, mm-hmm. it's, it's crazy. It's been working heavily, All right. um, to be honest. That's what's but up. I have a question. So, mm-hmm. <laughs> um, I got a question. All so, right. and I don't know, you might have kind of talked about this or something, but, you know, I'm not sure. Anyway, so there was one time, 
four hours out with my dudes, right? Mm-hmm. And uh, what happened is, you know, I was, you know, talking to this girl, kind of dancing and shit. And, you know, I directly approached her and said, yo, you know, trying to make something happen tonight. Mm-hmm. And she was cool. She was like, all right, you know, let's, let's do that. Mm-hmm. But, you know, we still had some time before the club was closing, so I, you know, she was still kind of twerking and shit. I was like, cool, to get that pop. Out of nowhere, her friend comes and, like, pulls her away mm-hmm. and throws her to some random, like, white dude. Right. And, like, I didn't care that he was white. But, like, it was just, the weird part is, at first I thought maybe that's, like, her boyfriend or something. Mm-hmm. But that dude was as shocked as I was. He mm-hmm. think, like, it kind of felt like he just, you know, got this random girl and he was like, I mean, thanks, but right. what the hell? <laughs> and, like, her friend was already dancing, like, awesome dude. And, like, the dude she was dancing, I mean, he, yeah, the dude she was dancing with was kind of shocked because he saw, like, the whole thing and was like, mm-hmm. why the fuck did she go all the way there and do that? Right, you know? but did you? Anyway, but did you hold on? So did you? Did you get? Did you get with the chick? Did you? Did anything happen? Oh no, nah, that's kind of what I was getting to. Mm-hmm. So like, it's like two. The club is closing and whatnot. I see her again, and I'm like, hey, you know, you should uh, give me your number or whatnot. And then I'm about to go drop off my boys, and then I'm gonna meet you at your address. Mm-hmm. And so she gave me the number. I go drop off my boys while I'm at my dude's crib. I hit her up, mm. like, yo, you know, drop the address, what, no, no, no. And she, uh, so when I called her, we were talking for a little bit. Her friend takes the phone out of nowhere and is like, uh, who is this? And I'm like, this is Dave, and that's she's like, uh, oh, yeah. And so, and wait, hold on, hold on, because I want to I get, I want to get to the, to the, to the end of the story. So, you trying to say that the 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 the, the friend just basically cop blocked you the whole night? Is that what's going on? Yeah, and I was wondering like, is there like a reason? Because why is like I don't know. Did the friend feel like some type of way mm. about me? Like because I mean you got to remember at the club she threw her like her girlfriend at another dude. Right, it's right. Not like she took her and like went. Mm. So it was like, what the hell did I do? To the point that now her friend, you know what I mean. Well, that's, well, the thing is, you know, chick, there's gonna be chicks who's gonna be cock blocking. Period. You feel what I'm saying? So, a lot of times, yeah. you, you you know, that those chicks they they're just haters because they don't like the fact that you probably not talking to them. You feel what I'm saying? And also too, yeah. you got to look at the 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 maturity of the girl you're talking to because if she sort of if she sort of just like you know, just went along with that and didn't, like, check her girlfriend and said, yo, I'm talking to this motherfucker right here, like, chill the fuck out. That's another thing you gotta look at. You see what I'm saying? So, yeah. you know what I mean? So the thing is, is, like, you, you know, you, you just gotta, you just gotta sometimes charge it to the game, or what you need to do is you have to quickly let the girl know, the one that you're talking to, what you're trying to get with, you need to quickly give yeah. her some instructions on what to do since you see that she got a cock-blocking girlfriend. You feel what I'm saying? So, the thing is, is that, you so know... you can tell you know, like, hey, look, tell your girlfriend, like, you know, it's cool, relax, or mm-hmm. not, like, you know what I mean? Right, You can right. say that? Yeah, hell yeah, you can say all that. Or you, you can even tell the girlfriend, be like, yo, listen, chill out for a second, I'm talking to your friend. You understand? Like, whatever, you understand? But the yeah. thing is, again... You got to see the maturity level of the girl you're talking to because if she if she if she's gonna let her friend dictate how this shit's gonna go, then a lot of times you're gonna have to charge that to the game. You feel what I'm saying? Because she, her friend has power over her. Do you understand what I'm saying? So so then there's nothing you can do in that situation. If the girl is mature enough, what she'll tell her friend to do is chill the fuck out and then she'll continue with whatever she's trying to do because if the girl if the girl brung her to some other dude then on top of that you're on the phone with her and the girlfriend snatching the phone away you know it is it, it's, it's just too much nonsense so it's like her girlfriend is fucking fucking up the situation so if she's not trying to actively um tell a girl to like chill you're gonna have to charge into the game sometime so you see what i'm saying so it, you know, but with with those chicks, because sometimes they'll they will be feeling you. Oh, like maybe that's what happened. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, because I like that's the situation. 
What? No, no, no. Because I, what, what I was gonna say is that sometimes those girls, they'll be feeling you. The uh, the girl you're um talking to, they're feeling you. But since their girlfriend is on some bullshit, that makes it harder yeah. for you to make shit happen. You see what I'm saying? So it's 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 like you gotta assess the type of chick you're you're talking to. Assess how she is because there's times I've been in those situations, but you know the the chick. Check the girlfriend. So then everything was cool. You feel what I mean? But if this chick is not checking her friend, then it's like, you're you going to have to charge it to the game. You see what I'm saying? Oh, uh, yeah, I'm going to start doing that shit. Yeah, like, so, you know, <laughs> or, or, what you, or what you might have to do is, you know, give her your information, give her your number, and be like, listen, holla at me when, you, when your friend ain't around. You feel what I'm saying? Hit me up tomorrow or something when you're at home by yourself or some shit, or however you're trying uh-huh. to do it. You see what I'm saying? So, and so, and so, did, yeah. and so what happened? So did you ever, did you, was you able to go see her that night or it just ain't go through? Nah, that, that shit was dead, mm. you know? Right. And, yeah, and then kind of about what you just said, mm. like right there, mm. about that you kind of have to, so here's the thing, when you're like out and about, right? Mm. And I kind of, I kind of talk to like, you know, my girls that are just like friends, mm. you know? About the whole, like, you know, giving the number, and then they call you. Right. Which, to be honest, I see that mostly only working on, like, girls on, like, Tinder, where they really just, you know, hit you up. Mm. But, like, it seems like when you do that shit, like, at the clubs, I don't know, maybe it's because the girls be kind of, like, twisted. Mm. It seems like it almost, like, it doesn't work. So, like, I, I, you know, I kind of feel like what you said like, you know, in your past videos, that it's better to just smash that night or else. Oh, yeah. Know, yeah, no I, situations. <laughs> yeah, no situations is better to smash that night. You know what I mean? Um, because yeah. when, they, when they're, you know, when they're, you know, in that mode or that mood, like, I, I wouldn't say smash chicks who's pissy drunk or even tipsy. Make sure them chicks ain't on no bullshit. Make sure they sober. But do smash them at that time if they're really trying to make it happen. Because that's the best time to do it if they're really trying to make it happen at that point. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. So that, that's what it is. But, yo, I appreciate the call, my dude. I got to get a few more in. All right? So I'm going to holler at you later, man. All right, man. All right? Hey, Peace. Thanks a lot, man. No problem. All right, people. So what's going on? All right, the stream seems like it's, it's still decent. I got to see what's up with my internet. My internet is acting crazy right now. Acting crazy right now. You feel what I'm saying? All right, what's popping? What's going on? Who's this? What's up, man? I just called, like, before this caller, and it's reviewing what you had said in your answer. And I know this is a very basic question, but I wanted, I wanted to know, what is the difference between pursuing a woman and chasing a woman. I know it's a very basic question, but I just wanted to get like a good response out of you. Okay, so all right. Damn, you you gonna have to you gonna have to uh purchase a fucking uh thirty minute game session, bro. You be like holding back but but I'll I'll answer that question. So you said the difference between a pursuing and chasing? Yeah. So pursuing basically is I meet a girl, I get her number, I I I call her or text her and she responds and then we have a conversation and then we go on a date and then I hit her up a week later. She responds. We go on another date. I hit her up a week later. We, she, you see what I'm saying? That's pursuing. Chasing is I get a girl's number. I text her. She doesn't respond to me. I text her again. She doesn't respond to me. I text her three more times. She doesn't respond to me. You see what I'm saying? That's chasing. When there's no response from the girl and you're still trying to get at her, that's chasing. When there's a response back and forth, that's pursuing. You see what I'm saying? I see. Okay. So, that's, so that's the difference. You see what I mean? So, so you know, that's why I say don't chase All the right. chicks. You feel me? All right, man. That's All one right, a quick question to answer. Thanks, man. I appreciate All right, it. No problem. Peace. All right. Yeah, man. Because dude, dudes be thinking just trying to holler at a chick is, is, is chasing. I'm like, no, 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 no. Chasing's when you're going, you're trying to holler at her and you keep trying to holler at her and she's not fucking giving you any type of, you know, nothing. It's like, nah, man. It's crazy. Owen L. Fam, he said that makes you like a thirsty kid. Exactly. So, 
super sad and you say you can still overly pursue by contacting back and forth too much yeah pretty much that is true yeah what's going on what's popping what's going on brother this is Barton from Florida alright what's going on with you man Feel good, man. Um, I'm just getting out the gym. So I don't really know uh, what's what the topic right now, but I know you guys. I know you already got stuff popping, but I just wanted to ask like two questions. Um, All right, yeah, go ahead. Mostly, uh, it's on a uh, like I, I just came out of like a six year relationship, so mm. um, I feel like um, because a lot of stuff that I be I've, I've, I've learned from you, mm. it's like I can I can see like damn, like that's where I was kind of messing up as as a man, you know? Right. So. I'm learning a lot more. I, I called a, a, a while ago, but anyways, like my main thing right now is like I feel kind of like uh like drained in a way, like because I felt like I was so open to her and um, she was just kind of like closed off. Meaning, like you know, I always wanted her, you know, like physically everything, you know, mm. and we weren't having like a lot of we weren't having like a lot of sex, especially like how cause I have a really high sex drive, right? And, she'll stay, and you know. It's just like the sex wasn't really popping. You probably have you probably have more sex in one month than we had in six years. Wow, that's so, crazy. You know, I, I mean that's an exaggeration, but it's we probably do anyways. But it's like right now I'm feeling like a little ripped off, you know, because I, I was faithful throughout the whole relationship, you know, mm. and I had shit popping myself. And like right now I'm single, you know, I'm in the gym, you know, working out, trying to get back on the hustle. I just feel kind of like ripped off, you know. No, what, do, what, do like, what do you mean? What do you mean by what do you mean by ripped off though? I mean, like you know that song, like when Kanye was saying, I still feel like there's women that still owe me sex. You know what I'm oh, saying? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is the thing. It's, like, it's the thing. Don't 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 look at it that way. Just look at it as, you know, learning a lesson. You feel what I'm saying? And so the yeah. thing is, with, and this is the thing with relationships, man, is that. You know, you as the man, and I've talked about this a million times, you got to figure out what you want and find women who are going to follow that program. That's re It's really that simple. So a lot of times the reason why you have situations where you feel like you got ripped off and, she, you know, you did all of this and she whatever is because you weren't saying, look, this is what I'm trying to do and you follow it. And if you don't follow it, you're gone. It's, it's that simple. You understand? You got to look at yourself like you're the business and she's the employee. And if she's not following what she needs to do, she gets fired. Is that simple? You see what I'm saying? Because this is the thing. This is the, this is the problem, though. People think that when you think that way, that it's unfair. Like you're like, oh, but what about her? And what about her feelings? What This is the thing. If, if, you, if she is really into you, what she wants is what you want. Do you see yeah. what I'm saying? And that's that's what you got to understand. So don't worry about uh, uh, her. Worry about or, or think about what you're doing f moving forward. That's it. And moving forward, it should be, this is what I want, and I'm finding the girls who fit into that. That's all it is. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. That's if, all it wasn't like, if it wasn't for like your, like your stuff and mm. your material and alpha male like material, Mm. Alpha male strategies. I probably would still be in a relationship. Like I mm. just like we just kind of broke up like officially. I mean, we we, we were. What happened was I kind of cut off. I kind of cut her off emotionally like a month before I left. Mm. And um, cause I was open to her, but I just started to see like, damn, this girl. If it wasn't for you guys, I would have really wouldn't have known like the games that were being played. And I know the games are. It's not her fault. It's my fault as a man, like you guys say, cause mm. I'm the boss. And if I don't give her instructions, then that mm. shit is just going to happen. Right, you know? right. So is, is that, you know what I'm saying? Big. That's all it is, man. And and don't be afraid to tell chicks to bounce. That's the thing. Like, And see, that's why dudes be in, in relationships for long periods of time and then the shit is kind of whack because instead of telling her, like, look, this ain't working out or, you you know, you on some bullshit, you stay in it because you feel like you're supposed to. You feel like you, you know... Oh, it's been so long, or you know what I mean? Like you, you can't do that shit. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, I feel you. So you know, like after like the month of like kind of cutting myself off, getting into that mind space of leaving, mm. I just left, and it's been almost about a month now. Mm. But what I'm dealing with now is like, how do I overcome that? I just feel drained. Like I feel like a battery mm. just just empty. You know, how mm. do I like overcome 
that empty feeling. Like, I, I was just so open to her, but she was just so closed off to mm. me, I feel, like, energetically. Like, how do I overcome that feeling? I just, and you say, and say And you saying that you feel you feel empty based off of you don't have you don't you don't feel like you have enough energy to deal with other women is that what you're saying oh nah i still i i, I mean i'm a i'm a good looking guy mm. i'm fit and everything i can work with women right now but i just i kind of like want to get her energy off of me first you know get back to myself right, not that I, I can't mess with other women it's just that i feel i feel empty like i feel void and i feel like she like sucked everything out of me you know Right. Well, that, when you got it, when you got it, you have to, you have to first focus more on yourself and 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 not think about her or worry about her. Cause like, do you do y'all still speak? Do you still, you know, uh, uh, talk to her on on social media? Like, what's what's the situation with you and her? Well, I mean, she kind of hit me up. She tried to like start a little dialogue and stuff, but I'm pretty much done with her. But that's what, and that's you know? why you, and that's why you feel drained because you still got her there you got to cut her off like in all like she's she doesn't exist to you at this point that's how you got to it has to be you see yeah, that's what I'm, what I'm trying to i'm trying to create that space you know and that's but what i'm she, saying she's the one that's trying to contact me i don't right don't and tell and tell me. and tell her be like listen don't contact me you know what i'm saying like be like right. listen don't contact me don't hit me up on on facebook don't be in my dms don't text me don't do shit you feel what i'm saying let her know that be yeah. like listen i'm trying to move on i'm trying to do certain things I need you for you to just not hit me up. You understand what I'm saying? Like yeah. maybe later on in the future we could, you know, talk and be friends and all that shit. But right now I need you to not do that. That's all. That's all you got to do. Because the more the the quicker you do that, the quicker you're going to get out of that zone and get out of that that shit. Because right now you're feeling drained because you're still caught in between trying to get away from that. But at the same time, there's still part of you that probably still wants that. You feel what I'm saying? You still want her part of it, which is why you're not really going in and, and doing other shit. You see what I'm saying? I feel you. So and yeah. I'm about to be tw- I'm about to be twenty nine next week and right. I'm just like I'm looking back at my life, damn, I really have not been fucking like <laughs> I, I lost <laughs> you know like That's what I, I'm saying. I have a very short like because the Christianity I feel like they kinda messed with me a little bit. Right. I had lots of opportunity to have sex with lots of women. But right. I was on that, you know, Christianity stuff and mm. passed up a lot of stuff. And then I get into a relationship and it's like barely any sex and now I'm about to be 29 and it's like god damn so do you think smashing women would like kind of make me feel revi- revitalized hell fucking or, yeah no. hell fucking yeah bro well this is the thing it it, it, the thing is smashing women is not gonna make you happy but it's gonna no. it's going it's going to it's going to put you on a, it's gonna have you in a different perspective do you understand what I'm saying because right now you're still caught up in w- where you were you understand? So what I'm saying is you have to get yourself in a different situation because it could be literally it'll be it could be like the next girl you meet and have sex with. You'll probably f- forget who th- this girl's name for a second. You'd be like, who? Who's that? you know what I'm saying? You're not even going to be thinking about her. Trust me, because a lot of times the reason you're thinking about your ex or your ex is still on your mind or whatever is because your focus hasn't been on something else. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. And so that's what you got to do. Just focus on, you know, some other shit. And then, you know, shit will, um, you know, you'll, you'll, you'll eventually start to get that, uh, your, your groove back. You feel what I'm saying? You, you, you want some, you want some Stella, got Stella got her groove back. Um, I know you on that. I know you don't have any kids. Right. Hello? Yeah, yeah, I got so, you. Um, okay. I, and, and I don't have any children either. And. Learning a lot about like nature and in the in, in the nature of things and women and men mm. and how you know there really is no like loyalty you know because I I see within my my past relationship mm. there really was no loyalty because it's like when I was down like this woman that I gave my heart to she was pretty much stepping on me because mm. and it's not her fault it's because I wasn't on my alpha male ish you know right so it's like just looking at that I'm thinking about like. Cause I want to have a legacy. I want to have children. Mm. What is your What is your like viewpoint on a man who has kind of accepted the nature of women mm. in the way that? Because you know we can love women. We can be faithful to women if we decide to be. But it's harder right. for them to be. I feel like with the new information that I've gotten. How do you decide that you, when to have children, how to have children, and who to have children with? If you're not really feeling that relationship thing like you used to feel it back in the day, mm. how, do you understand where I'm coming from? Right. Well, this this is the thing. This is the thing. See. Unfortunately, right? This is the this is the the fucked up part about the situation. Unfortunately, yeah. uh 
most guys don't know how to um, manage and mold their women <laughs> into what you want in a situation. That's really yeah. what you have to do. This is this is why when I, when I hear guys talking about yo, you know, oh, I just want to like fuck this chick and I'm I'm gonna lie to her and I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that and all this crazy extra stuff. And I'm like, well, you're on that surface level game stuff because the thing is, you got to be able to get a woman's mind. So once you get the woman's mind, then what's happening is is that you're creating a situation to where she is prepared to be your wife, prepared to be the mother of your kids. You feel what I'm saying? If that's what you want. But but the thing is, is that you have to be able to create that so that you 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 uh, have a space to where she's not really because you never know what's going to happen. You know, the future, you don't know what's going to happen, where later on down the line, she might want to leave you. She might want to be with somebody else or you might want to leave. Yeah. You might you never know. But the thing is, is that you have to go into it understanding that that's a possibility to where you and her could break up or it could not you know work out in the long term. But also at the same time, you have to be very uh, focused on understanding that, hey, if I actually want to make something happen with a woman, I have to be uh, to make sure I'm on point to where I'm choosing the right chick to where I know that she's worthy or worth being a, a wife or a mother. You know what I'm saying? And then from that point, then you fuck with her in that capacity. You feel what I'm saying? But the thing is, there's yeah. a lot of women who aren't wifey material, unfortunately. You see what I'm saying? So the thing is, you got to find the one that that is wifey material. And then on top of that, you still got to manage the, the situation. You see what I'm saying? So it's a lot yeah. more work um, on your end than you than most guys would even realize. So this is what I'm saying. Like, you got to really find that chick uh, who, who's, who's down and who's actually going to do that. And on top of that, in the back of your head, also understand... That she could still cheat on you, she could still uh, break up with you, all of that shit. You see what I'm saying? So it's it's up to you if you want to uh, take that chance or not. See me personally, I mean I don't really have kids because like I I honestly don't really want them. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? I mean like you don't, don't want to pass your legacy down or have a little Lucario. You know, I I, I really you know? I I really don't give a fuck. I actually don't care. Like that's not that was never like a thing for me. Like I don't like if I have kids, that's cool. But I personally don't give a fuck. That's just me personally. You know what I mean? That's just my thing. Like I'm like I'm here when I'm gone. Hopefully my you know my books and shit is here and and people could learn from that and I'm good. You feel what I'm saying? That's my legacy. This this is my kid right here. How to have sex with two women a day. That's my my book is my kid. You know what I'm saying? That's for me. But but I know some dudes like to have kids. So so what I'm saying is that if you do want to have kids, make sure that the 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 chick you're with. You feel what I'm saying? Is worth that shit. Like, cause, like, you know, my my wife, I would have kids with her. You understand what I'm saying? But there's not many women that I would say I would do that shit. You feel what I mean? Okay, so you so you feel like your wife mm. is a good candidate. Right, work. right. And and see, that's the thing. I've been with I've been with her for 11 years. You see what I'm saying? So yeah. I I I you know, and I didn't marry her uh, until we were seven years in. You feel what I'm saying? So so the thing was, it was seven years of testing the waters to see. Okay, is she <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We're really staying with on on some serious shit. So that's what I'm saying. So that's, I'm saying that for you is that if you, because you seem like the type of dude who who you know. Because I always tell people every every dude ain't gonna try to be a player, and every dude ain't don't want to be a player, and is not equipped to be a player, and shouldn't be a player. You sound like the type of cat who wants an actual cool, nice chick that you can have kids with, and you know what I'm saying? Like that's that's is that like you're more your lane. Maybe in a few years, but right now I'm on some hoax smash. Right, I'm right, six, six right, years. right. Man. So, so yeah. So do you do your smashing shit, and through the smashing, you'll probably find some chicks who you see is worth that. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. You know. So yeah. So that's that's what it is. You know what I mean? You just got to make sure that the girl that you fucking with is you know is is worth the the type of shit that you're trying to do with her. You feel what I'm saying? That's all it is. I really appreciate the time, man. That's what's up, man. Appreciate the call, bro. All right. Thanks for having a good night. All right, peace. Yeah, man. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know about them kids, man. I mean, maybe if I do get kids and, uh, you know, you know how they always say, oh, it changes your world and all that shit. I'm like, really, nigga? I don't know. <laughs> I, I like my freedom. I just love that shit. 
Yo, what's going on? Yo, Lucario, what's going on, man? It's Ronnie. What's poppin', bro? What's, what's good with you, man? All right. Hey, man, I got, I got two questions, man. All right. My question is about, you know, like, having standards for yourself, like, mm -hmm. when it comes to dealing with women. Um, can you, like, briefly explain what is it that a standards could mean? Well, standards is just basically what, um, it's personal to you. Like, whatever your standards are, um, is something that is important to you. So you might say, you know, I, if I'm fucking with a girl, she got to, uh, you know, have some money with her. Like, maybe she got to have a job or some shit. You know, that, that could be a standard for another, some guy. Some guys might not care if a woman has a job. He just, his standard might be, she just got to be really hot. You understand? That's, that's his standard. So it all depends on what you want as, as you know, when it comes to you dealing with the women, you got to figure out what the standards are for you. And then you find girls who fit that standard. And the thing is, you, you are the only one who knows if you're going below your standard, you understand? Cause your standard is whatever it is for you. You see what I'm saying? Right. Like, like, like say if I say I want to approach a girl unless she have on some jewelry that make me think she have money. That's mm. a standard. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. You can say, you know, anything anything that you 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 set for yourself as far as what you like or don't like, that's your standard. You know what I'm saying? Cuz like for example, for me, you know, um like I would think this is a few things that's, you know, on my standards when it comes to women is like, you know, I like chicks that look a certain way. I like chicks who uh, have a certain personality, like a nice personality, uh, real cool, real calm, no drama. That's, you know, so if a chick is on some dramatic shit, I'm not fucking with her, period. You feel what I'm saying? Um, so right. it, it all it all depends on what your standards are. And so that from that, you, you uh, make a decision based off of that. You feel what I'm saying? So my standard is like, we like, okay, I'm not approaching no girl unless you have on jury mm. that think Nick that she got money mm. or and again it could give me a, a tool I can start a conversation to see whether she is about money or she have a nice personality as well. Right, right. And you're right. So it's all about what you what you're looking for. And then you see that in the girl. And and that and also too what's a good thing about that is this gives you conversation um topics to talk about. Because let's say if if let's say if my standards is um a girl who has a job, who has no kids, and who's a cool chick. So now when I'm having a conversation with her, I might say, so, you know, what do you do for work? And be like, oh, do you have any kids? See, I'm, I, I, I got questions based off of my standards. You see what I'm saying? And then so now you have things to talk about, and then it's also giving you information about who she is. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, like, say if I say I ain't pushing no woman unless she's wearing jewelry to make me think she got money. Mm -hmm. Like, I could walk up to a girl that's wearing jewelry, and I could be like, Hey, excuse me, now that's an awesome jewelry you're wearing. Mm. What's the story behind that? Right, exactly, exactly. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. And so that's how you yeah. do it. That's how you do it. Yeah. My my, my next question is, you know how we talk to us here about confidence, right? Mm. Like, can I can I do something like make a decision or make it my goal something real small? Mm. Yeah. Like. Yeah. That well, that's the thing. Like. You know, with building your confidence, you make you can make small goals that you can accomplish in order to say, look, I I I was able to do this. You see what I mean? And then that that within itself gives you that feeling of, look, I'm, I'm I know that I can make something happen. So, you know, it could be small goals like you can say, look, you know, um, I'm going to go to the gym and lift this certain amount of weight three times a week for the next for the for the the next month you feel what i'm saying and then you know you you know it's not anything big where you go into the gym every day and spend it all day in there but you just setting little goals to say okay i'm gonna do this do this do this then when you see that you've done it you're like oh shit i, I actually completed what i said i was gonna do and then that shows that you actually are able to make something happen that you said you were gonna make happen which is proof that you can do certain things that you say you set out to do and that within itself can give you that confidence to do even better things and do even more things and to do other type of shit. You feel what I'm saying? So, you know. Yeah. Hey, 
this may sound kind of strange and mm-hmm. it might sound kind of silly, but I was thinking about, okay, what if I make a goal or decision and say, I'm going to look up the top of 10, I'm going to look up at the sky top of 10, mm-hmm. and then after I finish, I'm going to go ahead and do what I got to do. Mm-hmm. It's something like that, right? Yeah, well, it could be it could be anything. It's it's just basically you saying you're gonna do something and then doing it. You feel what I'm saying? That's really all it <laughs> yeah. is, because it's it's just you uh, being able to 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 make a decision and follow that decision and follow it through to the end, so that you know that you're capable of doing that, so that you know that you can actually make those things happen. You see what I mean? Yeah. So that's what it is, bro. You feel me? Yeah. Yeah, man. But y'all, I appreciate the call, my dude. All right? So I'm going to let you later, bro. All right? Yeah, I appreciate, I, I, I appreciate everything, man. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. All right, I'm going to let you later. Peace. All right. All right. All right. So what's good, people? What's popping in the chat room? Shout out to the chat room, man. You guys in the chat room be getting it in. Shit. Man. Yo, what's going on? Yo, what's good, brother? Nick. What up? What's popping with you, bro? Oh, uh, man. I'm just calling you to uh, let you know what's good with old girl. Oh, yeah. So, you was. It was. Wait. For, so for, for those who don't know, you were with the chick who was supposedly your girlfriend. And, yeah. and you're trying to smash. <laughs> and she's saying. And she, she she's talking about she want to wait. And she 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 acting real crazy with you right now. So so what's going on yeah, right yeah, now? So, so yeah, okay. Basically, you know, you know the girl. So all right, this weekend and shit, I ain't hit her up and whatnot. Mm. Like I told you, I was gonna like I was just gonna fall back extra hard and shit. So that's what I did. Right. So um, I basically went to I, I was going out this weekend. I seen a few uh, side chicks and shit like that. Like I was hitting. I was in the middle of hitting, and she calling me and shit. And mm. I'm like like yo um. I'm gonna call you back. Never called her back and shit like that. Mm. So um, I ended up setting up a date, you know, to break it down to her and whatnot. So we ended up, we ended up um, going out like uh, what was this uh, Sunday? Sunday? I think it was Sunday. Yeah, it was Sunday. We ended mm. up going out, and I basically like broke it down to her like, um, yeah, if you're gonna be my girl, like you gotta, you know what I'm saying? You gotta be giving me some like pussy, like right. You know what I'm saying that's not how it works. Like, like I told her like. I told her like, hey, I, I figured like you you were definitely right about her, like her looking at me like as some type of fucking beta male when, right. I, um, when I when I uh, agreed to you know kind of like all right cool whatever um I respect that type of shit like you don't want to fuck right now I respect that even though in the back of my mind I'm like yo that's some bullshit you know mm-hmm. so and the reason why I figured this shit out because like like um I told her like. I was like, when you told me that shit, I had to really think about, like, if I wanted to be with you or not, because, like, there's plenty of other, other bitches I could be, like, fucking with, like. Right. And I was like, so I was like, I'm gonna need you to, like, I mean, she was like, well, it's the reason why I'm like that, because of, like, my past and shit. Well, I'm like, well, I'm gonna, need you to, I'm gonna need you to drop that guard, you know what I'm saying? Like, right. like, don't be like that with me. Like, don't be, like, so fucking, like, trying to be all tough and shit, trying to, like, you know, not trying to be easy and shit. So she was like, well, she was like, um, this code is fucking my room. I'm sorry. Um, she was like, she was like, well, yeah, I I used to be really submissive in the past and whatnot. Um, and I just feel like I want to do shit on my time. I'm like, hell no, nah, that's not how it's gonna be. Like, you're gonna submit. Like, I'm telling her, like, you're, you're gonna be submissive. You're gonna submit. Type shit, like, or else, like, this shit is not gonna work. Right. <laughs> she was like, she was like, well, okay, all right, well, she was like, all right, well, um, I mean, she was like. You gotta be, she's like, just try to be patient. I'm gonna give it to you. I'm gonna give it to you. Just be patient and shit like that. Oh my God. I'm like, well, I'm like, well, I mean, I'm like, I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a grown ass man out here. Like, I can only wait so long. Like, she was like, she's like, you, she's like, are you sure you're ready for a girlfriend? I'm like, I'm like, uh, I, don't, I don't think so. Like, <laughs> like, I don't really know. Like, yo, dude. I was like, oh, you, are, <laughs> and, and, and so wait, all you, like, and so the, the, the conclusion of this though is, is she is she is she deciding that she's trying to like have sex with you or not? Like, what is she? What is yeah, her nah, final she decision? Yeah, definitely not. She is. She like we made it clear. She was like, she was like, yeah. I mean, I'm gonna give it to you. Just like, like, kind of give it some time. Like, I, like she's like, I'm gonna give it to you. Though. Like, she's like, if you just like play your cards right, it's gonna come sooner than wait, later. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh God, no. 
Go no. ahead, go ahead. That, that you shit, shit, you know, no, because when I when I when I hear shit like that, it's like, it's like it hurt my heart. Like almost, I'm like I'm feeling it in my chest. When, she, when <laughs> like you said, you said she said, if you play your cards right, what? No, along those lines, along those along those lines, like nah, I'm man. like. Along, no, along those lines, it was like, bro, it was like, I mean, like, I'm like for sure going to hit. Like, I feel like I'm for sure going to hit. Like, nah, nah, like, this, nah, nah, you ain't, you ain't going to hit for sure because she, she's stringing you along. She's doing a whole bunch. Look, all you really need, to, look, you got to, it, it was funny because I had a, a dude send me an email that was sort of similar to your situation, right? Yeah. And so what I told him is this, man, you have to keep the, the, if you want to smash, right? You got to mm-hmm. keep this the the situation open, but you have to remove yourself from the situation. So basically what I mean is you tell her, listen, um, this is what I want to do, right? And mm-hmm. you talk about, oh, you know, I got to be patient and all of that. Cool, I got yeah. you. This is what I want you to do, though. You know, You got my number. So I only want you to call me when you're ready to to have sex with me. If you're not ready to, like, that's all I want to hear. Like, I don't want you to call me to say hi. I don't want you to call me to check up on me. I don't want you to call me to to see how I'm doing. <laughs> Only call, the next time I hear from you is we fucking. If that's not happening, then we're done. You got to be so savage with it, gangster with it. Look, look, either this or that, you know, either this or we, or I'm not, I'm, I'm bouncing. That's it. You see what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, I feel you. I definitely feel you, but like, like. Like that, I do that. Like any other female, like I'm not putting on this bitch on the pedestal. I'm not putting. You, this bitch you on are the pedestal. though. You are. <laughs> but check it, check it. Okay, kind of in a way, but it's like it's like all right. I kind of I kind of want a main chick. I want a main chick and side hoes. Like a side hoe, I would easily do that. But with that's what. But this is what like, I'm well, saying though. This is what I'm saying though. You could find another main chick though. You understand? Yeah. This chick, she's she's just she's just playing too many games. So what I'm saying is, you giving her a chance, you giving her one last chance. Because because if this was me, or any other cat, I would be advising. I'd be like, yo, drop her. You know what I'm saying? Like I I was I've yeah. been like, you should have been dropped her like a, a month or two ago, or whatever. You see what I'm saying? But since you still trying to hit it and you still seem like you like her, you got to give yeah. her that that message and be like, listen, either we doing this. Or if we're not doing it, I'm a bounce, and that's it. So it's like you're you're still giving her that. T- she's saying, "Hey, let me get uh, you know, I, I need some time, blah blah blah." Then it's like you know, okay, fine, you got you can have the time over there, but only hit me up when you're ready to do this thing. You understand? Yeah. So now, if she want to see you, she knows that this is what needs to happen because if she talking about what she she talking about, she don't want to do shit because of her past. Is that what she said? Well, she was like. She was like, it just lead. She was like, it lead, it lead to her like, like fucking like, what was the word? It's like some, some, some dumb shit. Like, um, like she been hurt. Basically, she been hurt in the past or being fucked over or whatnot. I'm like, yo, Whatever. I'm like yo. <laughs> I mean, I mean, like, I'm like, okay, well, I'm like. like Whatever. Anyways, like, what the fuck? Anyways, like, listen, listen, dude. Just you know, I'm, I'm, I would say keep this shit pushing and and keep it moving. But if you if you really really trying to get at it, I would say that you're, you're, the 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 thing you got to do is just let her know. Look, this is what I'm trying to do, and only holler at me when you're trying to do that. That's it. Like I told I told her this. This this is my words. I was like, I mean, like like to be honest with you, it's not all, it's not all about the sex with her because I can get sex from like all other mm-hmm. bitches. I was like, if I told her this, I was like, if it was about just the sex with you, like I would have been like cut you off. Like clearly, I would have cut you off the first time you say you wouldn't have sex with me. Like. But see, this, this oh, is the thing, though. This is the thing. Like I said last on the last show, what's happening now is it's almost like, okay, it's almost like you, 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 you fucked up too much to, to the point where if y'all, if you, even if right now you do have sex with her and y'all, y'all, y'all stay fucking with each other, whatever. Your relationship is, it's like, it's, it's tainted now because you started off being that dude who was like on some, oh, well, yeah, I'll wait for you to get ready. I'll play my cards right. I'll give you a whole bunch of chances. I'll do anything for you, whatever you want, honey. Yes, dear. Yes, dear. Hell no. You see what I'm saying? That's, that's what you sound like because you're, what? that's what I'm saying. You're turning into that guy. 
Because I think I think I think it's like uh, uh it's kind of like okay. <laughs> I, I feel like I feel like okay. If, if like see, I didn't see, go you... out and fuck with other bitches, like if I didn't go out, then that would definitely be the no, case. No, 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 no. no. Like, it don't, I, know it she, don't... I know she knows that I'm fucking with other hoes, and she's like it... scared to lose me. Like no, I'm saying it don't matter though because what I'm saying is. Is that how you're showing up to her? Because this is this is what it is. Think about it this way. Think about it this way. Think about it this way, right? right. Imagine you're a chick, right? Just just let's just imagine just for a second. You're a chick. You're dealing with a dude, right? And he's fucking a whole bunch of other girls. Okay. But he's still begging you to fuck how do you, you see what i'm saying like you're imagine that, like how she's looking at you because it don't matter that you because if you if it's like if you fucking a whole bunch of girls and you doing your thing or whatever then what's the big deal about about her you see what i'm saying and i mean so, it's like i'm not begging her I, i'm just like it's, it's like it's like it's like every time she like say some shit like that i don't like i'm just like mm, i'm kind of like mm, and then like but that's what, like, that's what I'm, I'm saying. Like, the way you're the way you're acting though, you're not acting as a dude, or you're not displaying yourself as a dude who is a high value motherfucker. You understand what I'm saying? Like it's like if I'm rich, how I look like trying to get a job at Target. You understand what I'm saying? Like it don't make sense. They're like, yo, what are you doing here? Like there must be something wrong with your money if you trying to get a job at Target. Cause I thought you was rich. You understand yeah. what I'm saying? So, th- so what I'm saying is, is that even though you, you, you fucking all these chicks, she's looking at you like, well, if you fucking all these chicks, but you sitting here waiting for me to get ready and you, and you're sort of like going along with my shit, you feel what I'm saying? Like, dude, like you're, 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 it's, it's almost like you're in a, uh, you're in a downhill, uh, battle right now. You feel what I'm saying? Like okay, on the cool. Like I'm not, I'm not doing no. I I just went on that like, like one last little. I just got a drink with her and shit. I just did that where just like, to just like going on like put it out there and shit. Like I could be fucking with other chicks, but I'm giving you a chance type shit. But basically, mm-hmm. like I already told myself when she asked me when she asked me am I ready for a girlfriend? I was like nah, like not really. Like I mean, like I be doing a lot of shit like that. And she agreed. Like she like I don't think you are neither and shit mm-hmm. like that. So mm-hmm. like basically that's this is, that was, that was like the last time I'm doing any dates with her and shit like that. I'm like I don't plan on hitting her up or nothing like that. Dude, like, I'm telling you, man. I, I I would suggest, man, you just keep that shit pushing, bro. Because if you got to negotiate with a chick who's supposed to be your I'm, girl I'm, for sex, yeah. that's ridiculous. <laughs> you know that is that is fucking ridiculous. But it like be, you already supposed to be trying to give me the pussy. But like, that's what, what I'm saying. Fuck? It'd be like, look, look it'd be one thing. It'd be one thing if this was just a girl you was like dating or trying to fuck with y'all made the decision to be boyfriend and girlfriend so how the fuck is you not fucking your girlfriend that makes no sense that's dumb as fuck and that's, that's what i'm saying that's why i don't even consider my girlfriend i consider like just like some i don't know for like but that's what i'm saying you, fuck, you, you're, you're creating that situation this is what i'm saying you gotta be on some look don't call me Every time. don't text me don't <clears throat> fucking breathe on me Unless we fucking, that's it. That's it. That's all you got to do. See, you, you're scared to do that because you're scared to lose her. That's what it is. You got feelings for this girl and all that. That's what it really is. You feel what I'm saying? Uh, <laughs> that's what it really is. <laughs> you know what I mean? Chill, so, bro. Chill, chill. Not even, not, not no super strong feeling, bro. I just like, nah, son, you like, got, I'm saying like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, whoa, well, we just like, I'm not even going to get into that shit. Like chill all that shit, chill all that shit. I'll wait a little bit. I'll wait a little bit, but like I mean, nah, like, bro. Saying, like, you, yo, you, you, you gonna have to, man? Listen, listen, bro. You gonna have to find you another another main chick, son. That's all I'm saying. That's nah, all I'm I saying. You. you gotta find you another nah, main chick. Other, I do got this other bitch I'm talking to, but I just don't want her like that. As I'm saying, you gonna have to find another chick you want like that, and then what? keep that shit pushing, man. You feel what I'm saying? They, in the chat yeah, room, they I mean, saying you you gonna you gonna listen to Drake after this after this call. Hell, <laughs> chill, chill. <laughs> and that's what they said. That's what they said. Yo, what they the said, chat room is stupid, they, childish, bro. They said, like they stupid, tro- they trolls. They it's, say you it's, sound like it's funny, you, but it's annoying. They say you sound like Big Sean. Ah, uh, <laughs> what the fuck, dude? That right? childish is like. Leave me alone. Like, I'm, I'm gonna read the comments into this anyway. The nigga is funny as shit, bro. Uh, but yo, listen, 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 dude. All I'm saying, man, is yo, either drop this chick 
or or let her know she got a smash or you 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 about to bounce. That's it. That's what yeah, really do. though. I, I do plan on going out this weekend trying That's to find it. me some new bitches. That's that. that was like do, was like the mission. Get you get you a new chick, man. Get you a new chick out there. You wasting too much time on this girl. Get you a new a new yeah, joint, a new right. joint. You I just need, need a little baddie. I just need a little baddie. Yeah, you're right. I'm 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 definitely gonna do that. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm like uh, next time you do a lot of feed, uh, of like like sometime like um after this weekend, I'll call you back and let you know how that. Yeah, shit, let me know, bro. All right. All right, All right I'm gonna holler at you, man. All right, peace. All right. That's hilarious. Y'all hilarious in that chat room. Y'all said do sound like Big Sean. He kind he kind of did like Big Sean. A little bit. Oh man, I like Big Sean though. Big Sean be spitting. Niggas be hating on Big Sean though. Yo, what's going on? Who's this? Yo, Lucario. This Carlos again, seventy plus dude, man. Yeah, I, I had to call back in after that. <laughs> I, I usually don't call your show twice, but I had to call back in to weigh in on something like that, man. Do you mind if I say something to the phone? No, go ahead. Go ahead. No, go ahead. Go ahead. Cause I man. <laughs> Stop being afraid to lose what y'all never had, man. Exactly. How are you going to be afraid to lose what you never had? Mm -hmm. There's no woman on this earth that belongs to you. There's no man on this earth that belongs to any woman. So who right. gives a fuck if you give the bitch your number and what if she don't call? Who gives a fuck if she don't do that? Who gives a fuck if this bitch don't talk to you if you tell her you want to fuck mm -hmm. and she say that she doesn't want to talk to you exactly. no more? Stop being so outcome dependent upon these bitches, man. Mm -hmm in terms of what they're doing and what they don't want to do. Mm -hmm. You should have the attitude like, I don't give a fuck what she does because I'm happy without this bitch. Mm -hmm. I'm happy with this bitch. I'm going to be Facts. happy when this bitch turn around. Facts. I'm happy when this bitch cheat. Mm -hmm. This bitch don't have no type of bearings on my life whatsoever. Facts. A lot of you guys, man, that they call in saying some of this stuff, like I'm not trying to throw shots at the man's caller. The reason she dealt with you like that because a lot of stuff that I was kind of hearing you say, that shit sound kind of feminine, man. It sound like mm. two chicks. Like, you said something <laughs> to the to the effect of she acted a certain way, and you was kind of like, mm, whatever. Right. Like, that's, that's not that's not masculine, man. She's looking at it like, what what the fuck am I dealing with? So, of course, she's playing games with you, along, the fact, along with the fact she probably just wasn't interested, period. Mm. But if you develop a mindset of, it's next. It's all about what I want. If you're not fucking with me how I want you to mm -hmm. fuck with me, mm -hmm. you're a gone. Right. Really I don't cool. care how fine you are. I don't care how average looking you are. I don't care how ugly you are. As a matter of fact, I don't care if I ain't got no other bitches to talk to. Mm -hmm. If you don't do what the fuck I say, you're a gone. I'll be at the crib playing pay station. I'll go to the bar by myself mm -hmm. and I'll meet some mohos. Right. It don't matter. You're a gone. Real That's shit. all I wanted to say, man. Stop Real being shit. outcome dependent upon women. It makes you look fucked up. It makes you look desperate. Don't no woman mm -hmm. want no man who follows behind her. Mm -hmm. Real her, shit. Tell her, what, tell her what the requirement is to fuck with you. Facts. You should have a requirement to fuck with you. Mm -hmm. That's all I wanted to say, man, because these calls was getting ridiculous, man. <laughs> this, this, Javon, this Javon in the chat, y'all holler at me. That's what's up, bro. I appreciate that shit, man. Real shit. Real shit, man. Oh, man. All right, man. All right, bro. Nah, that's some real shit, man. All right, what's poppin' news this? I had to call back again. Oh, shit. Uh, I, I wanted to build. I wanted to build on the one. Stop laughing. I wanted to build on the one dude right. that, uh, that just called. He was like, with the situation with the girl, I actually like that dude because mm. he was very entertaining. But right. um, I feel like the shit that he's going through with her right now, mm. that is kind of like would lead to the situation I just came out of, out of a six-year relationship. Right. You're having sex, sex like once or twice a month mm. because that's the shit right there. It's like a power struggle, you know? Right. And then I'm, look, I'm looking back on my relationship, like how, we, how me and my girl, how we first kind of started. It was kind of on that BS too, and then and I can look back and I can remember like all the girls before her, like they was on some mad cooperative shit, you know. Mm -hmm. Like they would help me with my business. They come. They, I had one girl come to my studio in lingerie and just like just started taking off her clothes. I didn't even ask her for sex. Right. But then I look at the different dynamics with her with between girls like that that I had before my girlfriend mm -hmm. and then I look at my girlfriend like damn that shit was mad difficult. That's 
that's no, what and, and that's and, what I'm and, saying and because could, because a lot of cats they they let that they let that go on. That's what I was telling the dude the call. I was like, yo, yeah. you, you you're you're perpetuating that shit. You're making that shit happen. You know what I'm saying? Because it's yep. like she's like, oh, if you play your cards right, like she's she's saying it as if she's giving him a gift. Like, oh well, yeah. you know, I'm gonna bless you with this pussy, and it's like, yo, yeah, dude's gotta, you know what I'm saying? They can't be on that shit, man. <laughs> yeah, I feel, I feel exactly what you're saying because it was like mad easy. I'm talking about like mm-hmm. the shit that you be saying is real because mm-hmm. like the girls before my my ex was like mad cooperative, like just throwing pussy at me, mm-hmm. getting naked for no reason. These girls didn't even know me from nothing. Right. And then here you go. I'm in a six year relationship with a girl, mm-hmm. and then it's like sex is like once in a blue moon. You know? Right. Like, well, well, you know what it is. You know what it is, and this is this is the thing guys, guys got to understand. A lot of girls get into relationships for convenience, for mm-hmm. security. It's not necessarily they get into the relationship because they are sexually attracted to you. Now, a woman can get be sexually attracted to her boyfriend or a or a husband, but a lot of times they'll 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 like sacrifice the sexual attraction for the stability. You feel what I'm saying? So this yeah, that is why was you have because I was right. I was broke. <laughs> right, right. But well the stability of just having you there. You understand what I'm saying? Right. So that's right. what I'm saying. Like chicks chicks will this is why like um, you know, you'll hear guys who are married, they'll say, Oh, me and my wife only have sex like three times a year. And you see what I'm yeah. saying? And and that's because mm-hmm. she she she's with them for the stability and the security, but she's not really sexually uh turned on by him you see what i'm saying so that so oh, yeah. they end up cheating uh on you know behind the dude's back because most of these chicks be cheating on the low but guys don't think that women cheat like how we cheat so then they think oh she can't be cheating like she would never do that you understand what i'm saying because she'll act like she's not you understand what i'm saying so you know what i mean that that happens a lot too you feel me yeah i just want to tell big sean bro listen <laughs> if you get if you get with this girl, bro, you going and and then uh, that's another thing too, because you 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 tell us, you know, and I hear other guys say, you know, you gotta have like other girls on the side, mm. and he was saying like he got other girls on the side, but still it seemed like this girl got her claws in him. So, exactly. So does that challenge your theory mm. or the concept that having other girls on the side that still that still don't mean that because it seemed like she breaking through all that and she kind of like got his. Or hooks him. What do you think about that? Well, the thing is, well, the thing is with him, it's not see him having the girls on the side <clears throat> doesn't it doesn't matter because he he's still displaying himself as the type of dude you understand who who feels like he's not you know uh, like he doesn't have that alpha male type of energy because see you could have you could have other girls on the side but. If it if you still don't exude that sort of confidence, it don't really matter. It's like the same thing as like let's say if uh you know uh, a guy who has like nice clothes on and uh, a nice car and a nice watch and all that that's cool, but if you still scared to talk to a chick or if you still insecure, all that shit don't really matter because I'm gonna see the insecurity in you and then it kind of shows me that all of that shit that you got going on ain't really nothing. You see what I mean? So that's why, because you got to think about it. Think about the fact that the girl, his the main girl, the girl he's trying to fuck with. Yeah. Why isn't she really angry at the fact that he has other women, or why isn't that an issue for her? You see what I'm saying? <laughs> because I don't really care. She don't right, really care. Right. About him. And not, not exactly. Not that. She, and, 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 and not only that she, you know, it's not that you know she doesn't care about him, or whatever. But it's because. She knows that he's not the type of dude who is, you know, displaying uh, like she's she doesn't really probably see him as valuable like that. You understand what I'm saying? Because the reason why a chick will get mad or or jealous that you're fucking with other girls is because she sees value in you and she doesn't want those other girls to be a threat to her keeping you. You see what I'm saying? But in his situation, he's going along with her program. So it does it's like she's basically winning out of all those other he's because she's thinking, oh, yeah, well, he's fucking those girls, but I'm the one he's he's chasing. I'm the one he really wants. You see what I'm saying? And so that got she she got him already in that bind. You see what I'm saying? Like, so it's so it's so yeah. she not even she's just like, whatever, he's going to stick around. He's going to stay. 
he's gonna keep fucking with me. It is what it is. You see what I'm saying? So you know. So what do you think? What do you think the relationship if mm-hmm. if she gets him into a relationship? Mm-hmm. What do you think that relationship is gonna look like? Oh, it's gonna be. That's what I'm saying. It's gonna be a whole bunch of her telling him what to do and what to and how to be and where to go and all the other shit. And he's just gonna follow it. And then eventually she's going to end up probably dumping him. You know what I'm saying? Because she, she lost respect for him in the first place. That And this is what I was trying to tell him the last show. I said that, and this is what I was saying even earlier, I said that he fucked up the whole situation already. Do you see what I mean? And that's what I want to tell guys. is like, the way you start is how you finish. If you start in on some, oh, I'm going to follow you, I'm going to wait for you, I'm going to do that and do that, She she can't... Like, she can't look at you the same anymore. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. You can't go yeah. back to... It's like I, I ever said at the last show, I said, it's like if I'm if I'm acting like I'm on some gangster shit, you feel what I'm saying? And then, mm-hmm. you, and then let's say you slap the shit out of me and I start crying. I can't go back <laughs> to no gangster shit with you. You're going to be looking like, get the fuck out of here. You feel what I'm saying? Like, you're not going <laughs> to respect my gangster. You're going to be like, get the, you know what I'm saying? So it's the same yeah, thing. What, you know? I'm sorry. I was going to ask you, like, what do you think her situation is? Like, do you think, like, she really just sitting there mm. waiting on him to tighten up or she got shit popping on the side, too? You know, mm. I just want to kind of analyze it for him because I feel right. like there's well, a few questions that... Th- that's you know? the thing, because I wouldn't be surprised if she does have some shit popping on the side. You feel what I'm saying? Because I don't, I don't necessarily... I forgot how long you said they was together. I don't think they were together that long. But nah. either way women are still human beings who have sexual urges. So her talking all of that, but again, he was saying that she talking all that, oh, I don't want to get hurt, blah, 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 blah. So she's trying to find herself a nice simp who she could settle with, who's safe, so she doesn't get hurt. But at the same time, she's probably fucking with other dudes on the side. I'm sure she probably got some dude that she messes with that she's fucking to, to get her rocks off. So that she can also still be with this dude and say to him, I want to wait because I don't want to get hurt. Because she don't care about the other guy hurting her because it's just some alpha male dude, bad boy that's going to fuck her and, and, and leave anyway. But she sees that she got has her a nice guy who's going to follow the shit she's saying and then stay with her. You see what I'm saying? That's yeah. the thing. So you know, if, if like, oh... The old me would have been like, damn, that's fucked up. But now the shit that I've learned from you guys, mm-hmm. so I kind of come into accepting the fact that women do that kind of stuff, you know? Yeah. And it's like, even though she's like, oh, I've been hurt before and, you mm-hmm. know, I want you to be more care- delicate with me. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, she's, and we don't know this for sure, but it's a good possibility that she does have that one exactly. or two person exactly. that call that's and why, have sex with her. Right. That's why you can't, look, look, don't, don't fall for chick sob stories. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, oh, I've been hurt and I've, because that's, that's the, that's the, that's the, that's the nice guy. Uh, uh, that's the, that's how they trick the nice guy. See, remember women, the same way that we're here discussing all of this shit, trying to mm-hmm. learn game, women also learn how to run game on men. You understand what I'm oh, saying? Yeah. They also they also learn how to do that too. So, but the thing is for women, it's easier for women to run game on men because it's almost like already built in to how society is structured. You understand what I'm saying? So, it's easy for a woman to pretend and say, "Oh, well, you know, I I got to get to know you more and, and and you know, I don't really have sex on the first date. I'm not that type of girl because society has tricked men into thinking that there's two different types of girls. You understand? And we we don't really know that it's the same chick. Like the same girl is the hoe and the wifey type. You understand what I'm saying? It's the same chick, but she's just going to pretend a certain way based off who she's dealing with. You see what I mean? Yo. So that's, that's what it no, is. No, that's real. That's real shit because like looking back at my relationship, it's like I'm trying to, it, it took me a long time to realize, like, yo, like, this chick is, like, withholding sex from me, mm. and, um, and she's probably using it as a weapon in relationship, mm-hmm. and then it's, like, I had to kind of, like, go deep, deep, deep down and learn this kind of stuff, mm-hmm. but even if it was on a subconscious level for her, it's, like, they already have this kind of shit. It's like it's almost ingrained in them. And then you said the the, mm. the environment is already hospitable to mm. that that kind of uh, instinct for for females. Right. But it's like for us guys, it's like some of us have it naturally, but majority of us mm. have to learn that stuff from other people, other right. men like you. Right. Well, also so like, too, 
also too you got to understand is that um what happens is is that sometimes because because when i was younger it was a lot of shit that like i didn't know and so what what happened was when i got when i learned like game and learned how to be more aggressive and assertive towards women and be more sexual and be more just like and 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 worry just about the shit i'm trying to do what i noticed was that i saw it change from like me sort of like being with chicks saying oh i gotta get to know you i gotta uh do this and we gotta wait to me fucking chicks literally an hour like in within knowing them you see what i'm saying so then when i saw that i was like wait a second chicks don't gotta wait to want to fuck you they're just choosing to act like that because they just want to act like that right now you understand what i'm saying because i'm like i fucked enough girls quickly to understand that chicks will fuck you quickly if they want to fuck you you understand what i'm saying or if or, or if you display yourself as the type of dude that wants that to happen unfortunately the guys don't really know that which again this is why i was saying it's easy for women to run game on dudes because a lot of guys don't know that women do that or they think that well she's not a slut she's a good girl that's why she's she's i'm waiting for her to 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 you know i gotta wait and 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 get to know her she's she's one of the good girls she's not a slut that's just gonna fuck me uh you know within a day but that same girl just sucked off a dude that you know a, a night before you understand what i'm saying so that's Yo, how it is that's real shit real shit that's and the thing is. about it is like and because i've been through some shit like mm-hmm. and you probably know what i'm talking about when i say this but i've been through some 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 issues and the only way that i have gotten through them mm-hmm. was by uh accepting because you were talking the other day about how pastors and stuff they uh they think about sex all the time because they're fighting those thoughts, mm-hmm. right? Right, right, and, exactly. And, and then the only way to get through it is honestly accepting it. Mm-hmm. So if you learn that kind of stuff through, through NLP and mm-hmm. uh, neuro linguistic programming and all kind of uh, psychological, you know, just thoughts like that. But when you when when you start to if you go through problems like you know anxiety disorder or mm-hmm. depression, when you get when you overcome if you overcome it, mm-hmm. you can apply those same methods that you use to overcome it into real life. Mm-hmm. And I have like kind of accepted the uh, the idea of women being the way that they are the same way I accepted a lot of things that I were going through that got me over those things. Right. So I actually don't mind a woman being slutty or sexually whatever promiscuous if 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 she keeps it real with me. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? I'm not saying I'm going to wife a girl like mm-hmm. that. Or but the thing about it is, it's like I I think it's actually a turn on that a girl would be honest about her sexuality to mm-hmm. me. I don't well, know if you but also, the same way, but. but also too, you gotta understand something, and this is what this is what I, I I hope guys understand is that it's not that the girl, um, and I will say this first. Remember, women follow men; they're they're following your lead. So what you have right. to understand is is that if you're acting like the type of guy who is gonna judge a chick for being a slut. Or you're going to act like the type of guy who wants to get to know a girl or you want to date her and take on a whole bunch of dates. She's going to follow your lead by showing you that type of girl. You see what I'm saying? But if I go to a chick and I'm talking to her at a bar or something like that and we just sort of flirting and then I say to her, I say, yo, listen, you know, um, I didn't even hear what you just said because for the past two minutes I've been thinking about, you know, how you would look naked in my bed you know, bent over. You understand what I'm saying? So now what she's going to say is, oh shit, this guy gets it. This guy gets it. Now I I can act like I wanted to fuck him, but I wasn't sure if I could, you know, be the slut I want to be now. But now that he said that, yes, hell yeah. You understand what I'm saying? So that's what I'm saying. They're following your lead. And this is what I try to tell guys is that the reason why a lot of times you're getting chicks who say, Oh, I got to take it slow. Oh, I got to get to know you is because you're acting like the type of dude who she needs to pretend to be like that in front of. You see what I'm saying? Having having sex with you once a month and all that stuff because she feels all that stuff. So how, so do you feel like, do you think Big Sean could have gave, um, this girl like those kind of signs, like, you know, like I want you to be 
wifey and you can't be slutty so she's like i've been hurt before blah 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 do you think that he probably could have gave her those kind of signs that, yeah that's probably wanna... that's yeah that's that's probably part of well part of it is is the fact that he was um being extremely accommodating to her being that way the the because this is the thing you got to be able to um you got to be able to almost like threaten to walk away do you see what I'm saying? And or so so what this is what I was telling him. I said, yo, tell her, look, this is what I want to do. Don't holler at me, don't call me unless you want to do that. You understand? So now you're basically saying you're walking away because now she wants you, if she wants to see you, if she wants to talk to you, if she misses you, if she if she likes you, she's gonna call you, but she's calling you with the knowledge that she has to have sex with you. So now once she calls you, right? Um, mm-hmm. she, she either, she has to do that or she's going to be in that direction of saying, well, you know what? I really like this guy and I don't want to lose him and I do want to have sex with him. So fuck it. Let me just stop being stupid and have sex with this motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? And so that, it gets into that category because now she's, she's been, uh, you know, you, you, you've posed that threat of leaving. You see what I'm saying? But see, the thing is he's so, he's still there. He's still, he's still like, sort of like going along with it. Then she don't. She has no. There's no. There's no uh, fear that he's gonna go because he's not going nowhere. You see what I'm saying? Right. So she can continue to say and do all this other shit. Oh, I, I need some time. Blah blah blah. She can do all of this shit. And then this is the this is the fucked up part. This is the really fucked up part. Is that she's saying all of this shit, going through all of that stuff. And imagine, imagine one day she just calls him up or they are hanging out. And she says, you know. I've been thinking, I think I just want to be by myself right now, blah, blah, blah. I don't think this is working out, yada, yada, yada. You see what I'm saying? So now he spent all that time, and then now she's going to be like, I don't want to be with you no more. You see what I'm saying? So it's it's like, it's like, dude, we got to, I mean, mean, tell you guys, they got to stop that shit, you know? Yeah, man. So like, you know, like, I was telling you about accepting the nature of women, so how she's like, Mm-hmm. Oh, you know, I've been hurt, blase, blase, but mm-hmm. she's still probably smashing other dudes or whatever. Mm-hmm. You know, like, me, like like I was saying, I don't mind, we all got a past, you know what I'm saying? So, mm-hmm. if a girl, whatever, if she, like, is promiscuous or she's very sexual, highly sexual, mm-hmm. um, I would, I would not mind that. You know, I'm not gonna, you know, like I'm saying, like, I don't mind you being that way. Mm-hmm. So... I don't plan on having another girlfriend anytime soon, mm. but I'm going to be with a lot of girls. So being with, being, trying to give off that, because if I, if I, if I start to think that way, I'm, that's what I'm going to attract, women who are comfortable with their sexuality. Right. So my only thing is I want to protect myself because I don't have any STDs or anything like that. Mm. So what, like, what kind of advice could you give to a guy who's been kind of out of the game for a minute, mm. you know, smash only one girl, mm. but you know, like, protect himself from, you know, women mm. who could possibly have, you know, STDs or... Because I'm, really, mm. I'm trying to really understand, too, like, what right. type of person who has STD goes out there and have sex with other people? You know, mm. I'm just trying to get my mind well, around Well, the thing too. is, the thing is, you know, you always got to you always gotta protect yourself with, you know, condoms and all that shit. There's certain things that you can catch even if you have a condom on. Um, but what you, what you should do all the time is, uh, you know, get tested regularly so you know that you know what I'm saying? Like, you ain't got no shit. Um, but also, too, but also, too, this is the thing, you know, with, with STDs is that um, a lot of a lot of what what they talk about with STDs, it's it's a lot of it is more scary than you think. Like, because you'll probably you could probably catch chlamydia. You could take a pill. That shit is done. You know, like you, you get rid of that shit. You get gonorrhea, you could take certain things for that, and that shit will be gone. You feel what I'm saying? Like, not herpes. Yeah, not herpes. You know what I'm saying? Like, herpes, you, 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 you fucked with that shit. You know what I'm saying? But, um, but yeah, so you, you just gotta, you know, you just gotta really, like, um, you know, always protect yourself, be careful with that shit. Because I've been with chicks where they, they, they actually wanted me to to go in them raw, and I was like, hell no. You know what I mean? So you gotta be careful with that, where you have, you know, chicks who, who are on that shit and then then it's sort of like you look at them funny like damn like she you know what i'm saying like she's uh <laughs> she's okay with just going raw and i just met her so i don't know you gotta you gotta be careful with that shit so yeah just just Yo, so go do ahead, you man. inspect the pussy before <laughs> i 
I know it sounds crazy mm-hmm. as hell, but you know, like I never really been with a lot of girls. Like, do you like mm-hmm. inspect the pussy before, or you just go in there? You put your condom on or whatever. Like, yeah. when it's a dark room, you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, I mean, I, I usually touch it, but th- no, it was funny. It was funny though. It was funny though. <laughs> there was this one time. I, 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 this is so fucked up. I'm at this. Um, I'm with this chick, and yeah. and we kissing. You know, we on the bed and shit. She get naked and all of that, and um. And she, you know, she's cute too. This and this is a chick I knew for a minute, but it was like we never really sort of got together. But we finally got together and shit. And I'm touching the pussy, and it felt mad strange. Like it felt like <laughs> it felt like you know, like when you you know, like when you cut yourself and then you you get a scab. You know what I'm oh, saying? Shit. Like she felt like she had scabs on her pussy, and I was like, "What the fuck oh, is this?" Nah. I was like, "What the fuck is this?" And so. And so I'm like, shit. So I'm like, look. So I told. So so you know what I did? I fucking um. I fucking uh. You know. <laughs> I don't want to. It was it was fucked up because, like, she was like, she was like, oh, what's wrong? And I was like, you know, I was like, I'm just not really feeling it. You know what I mean? Um, I think you know we we just gotta chill for a little bit and all that because I didn't I didn't want to really like be like, yo, what the fuck? Like I want I didn't want to get into it, but I just stopped because I was like, I don't know what the fuck. It's going on. Like I didn't even look at it because I w- I didn't want to see it. I didn't want to see what I was feeling. I know I just felt something weird. So I was like, so it just fuck- felt like it felt like hard or something. Yeah, like- it felt like like some hard shit. I was like, what the fuck is this? So you know, I'm- <laughs> so that that was the Yo, only time- <laughs> that was the only time that that ever happened though. Like I never felt that again with another chick. But the thing is, you know, um, but what's weird about me though, I don't know what the fuck is going on with me because. I've had sex with like, I think at this point it's probably like 150 or 60 chicks or whatever, and I've never caught anything. You know, you understand what I'm saying? Like never. And I'm like, yeah. just like that's that's like interesting though. You understand? But but the thing is, I always use condoms. Um, you know, there's times where I get head without the condom or whatever. Um, but I've never caught anything. You know what I'm saying? So. <laughs> So what's up with this? Like, cause I, I, I really, I'm really into psychology and human behavior mm. and all that stuff. Right. And I plan on actually like looking into that. Mm. What, where do you think is the psychology behind someone who has an STD, like the girl with the scabby pussy? Mm. It's like <laughs> you know your pussy is scabby. Why are you out here offering it to people? Like, what is the what, what is the psychology behind someone who knows they have an STD? Right. Or and, and they still like out here. Wanting to have sex with other people. What do you Yo, think that some is? of them, I mean, some people, they just like sex that much. They don't give a fuck. I don't know. Um, nah, son. <laughs> that's, that's some kamikaze. That's some kamikaze shit, bro. It's like, I'm taking the whole world out with me, like, right. kind of stuff. Like, right, is, right. It could be that, too. But, you know, but um, but that's a, that's the thing. Like, you got you to gotta be careful out here, though. You know what I'm saying? Protect yourself at all costs. You feel what I'm saying? Um, you know, and you just got to, yeah, you just got to be safe and... and 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 just get get tested because sometimes you have some shit and you don't even you won't even know you feel what I'm saying that's the crazy shit about it so that's that's the mm. thing you got it you got to really because sometimes and that's the thing some people have shit they don't know they have shit and then they spread in the shit you feel what I'm saying so right that's the thing you got to look out for you know what I mean because you don't want to be you walking around with some shit and then don't know you have it and then you spread it to other people. And then some other shit happens to you with your health or whatever. You feel what I'm saying? So you got to make sure you get tested so you could, you know, uh, go out there and, uh, and 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 not be on some bullshit. You feel what I mean? So, you know. Word. And for the, for the guys who are, like, afraid of that kind of stuff, mm. I mean, everybody thinks about it. But do you think it's more so because you talk about, like, mm. vetting the women? Because really, you know, us men, we are the prize. And looking at that kind of shit, mm. it's the truth. Because, mm. you know, like you said, like, Women could get sex anytime. Like, just think right now about, like, my ex right now. Mm. Like, she could probably have sex anytime she wants to. Right, But the thing about it is, it will not be easy for her to get another boyfriend, especially another boyfriend oh, yeah. as good as I was to her. Right. But now, me, it might be harder for me to have sex, but I can have a girlfriend in about a month or two. Oh, yeah, you know? of course. That's how, that's so that, that's the that's the, the trait, that's the game right there. The chicks could get the sex easy. The men could get the relationships easy. <laughs> right. So, so, so looking at that, you, you know, like I listen to you a lot. You talk about vetting the women and and, and like talking to them and see, not just going out there and just like wanting to just be with a woman just because she's pretty. So, looking at this, think about this STD 
crazy kind of stuff. Mm. Do you think that looking at a girl's lifestyle, like, you know, she goes to the gym mm. and she exercises and all that stuff, do you think that puts you in a better position to avoid things like STDs? Because, you know, the idea that she's taking care of herself. I mean, not, not necessarily, though. Not necessarily, not necessarily. Because, because just because you're taking care of yourself in the gym and you, you know, you drinking green juice and all that other shit, that don't necessarily mean that when it comes to sex that you're you're uh necessarily um being being responsible you understand what i'm saying because because it's just like it's just like anything else it's like there's certain chicks that you, you, like this chicks that i knew that i've known and um i'll tell you i'll tell you a quick story there's a chick that i that i knew and i could have sworn that this chick like goes to bible study every week like this chick fucking knit sweaters at home or whatever and so I went to a swinger party, right? Yeah. And guess who I see there at the swinger party? Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> and this chick is getting fucked all like like crazy dicks all up in her mouth, crazy shit. You feel what I'm saying? Wow. So you can't really you have no idea. You see what I'm saying? So you you yeah. got to you got to you know, you got to understand like I she listen, she was fucking so much I didn't even get a chance to fuck her. That's how much dick she was having in the party. I didn't even get a chance to smash cuz it was too many dicks flying at her at once. So I was over there fucking some other chick. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah, well, on that note, we're going to bring it back home. I mean, my thing is the big Sean, you know, like right. it's like she you know, the, the the one chick, like, mm. I know I know what it is, bro. Like, I know people probably clowning in the uh, comment section, right. but I know what it's like when, you know, you got a girl that sinks her teeth into you. Mm. But the thing about it is, she's probably, she's out here, like, the, the reality is she's trying to make dude, like, wait and be, you know, hit her knight in shining armor, mm. but she's probably smashing other dudes on the side talking about something. She want to take it slow. And right, exactly. That sex, That's what I'm saying, that man. Sex stuff, you know? That's so. what I'm saying, man. You guys got to, you, you, you can't, look, remember, chicks like sex, too. You feel what I'm saying? That Just, just understand that. So whenever a chick is on some, oh, you know, I got to take it slow and get to know you. Trust me, she got two, at least two other dudes she's smashing. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. So, you know. Because he, he's probably looking at her like she's different, she's delicate, right, she's right. a flower. Exactly. You know, and all this stuff. Exactly. And, you know, <laughs> that's not the case. Right. right. So that's but, what it is, yeah, man. Yeah, man. But y'all, I appreciate, I appreciate the call, man. You you, you got some, yeah. some good questions for cats to really, really think about. You feel me? Yeah, man. It was nice chopping it up with you, too. That's what's up, bro. All right, I'm going to holler at you later, bro. Later. All right, peace. All right, people, Ooh. listen. It's about that time. I gotta, I gotta eat some dinner, man. Dude, we got like 123 people up in here. That's what the fuck is up, man. I appreciate you guys tuning in, hanging with your boy. So I'm gonna do another joint on Friday. I might do one on Wednesday. I might. I mean, if y'all want me to do another one on Wednesday, if I'm not too busy, I might do another one on Wednesday. But um, but yeah. So I'm gonna do. But I'm definitely doing one on Friday. But um. Guys, remember to make sure you get your copy of How to Have Sex with Two Women a Day. That's what's up, Antonio Moses. I appreciate that. I'm glad that the advice is helping you. Um, make sure you get the copy of the hard copy so you can get the autograph. So, you know, I I, I open it up. I'm going to autograph it up in here. You know what I'm saying? Get that shit popping. I'll mail this out to you. Also, uh, make sure you guys get tickets to... The Truth About the Game Seminar, all right? You guys, make sure you get tickets to the seminar because the seminar is going to be off the hook, man. You understand? It's going to be me, my dude Miles up in the spot. We're gonna, I'm going to probably have some, some special guests that's going to come through so that you guys can, uh, you know, see what's good. So I'm still working on that. But, um... Yeah, I got the ebook version. So there's the ebook version of this. Go to mrlocario.com, get the ebook version. And I also got the audiobook version. And I got the hard copy here. So I got all different versions and everything. You feel what I'm saying? And so make sure you guys get tickets to the Truth About the Game seminar. You feel what I'm saying? Because that shit is going to be off the fucking hook, okay? And you know, I wanna I wanna meet some of you, you know, I wanna meet you guys in person, man. You feel what I'm saying? That shit gonna be that shit gonna be crazy. And like after the uh seminar, we probably, you know, we're gonna go out 
and and chill and and, and do that type of cool shit. You feel what I'm saying? But um, but yeah, I'll be back on um Friday. Maybe I might do another one on Wednesday. I gotta see if I um have time because I'm I'm coming out with the new bad boy uh membership program this what is it tomorrow actually because tomorrow's the end of the month so i'm gonna be dropping that not tomorrow um yeah tomorrow because right now it's tuesday in the morning but on wednesday i'm gonna drop the the new bad boy membership program which is about you know getting chicks to hit you back when you get these numbers so you don't get all these flakes and all this other shit but it's gonna i'm gonna let you guys know about that and um make sure you guys join the patreon so you can Listen to all the Bad Boy Show episodes. I'm telling you, the Bad Boy Show episodes are fire, okay? It's fire. They're even longer right now because before we would do an hour, but now the Bad Boy Show is now an hour and a half. So you get even more show, more game, and all you got to do is go to patreon.com slash Mr. Lucario and join the Patreon, and it's only 10 bucks to to join that so you can hear all of the Bad Boy Show episodes, so you're getting four shows a month for only $10, that shit is hot, you feel what I'm saying, that shit is what's up, so man, yo, I appreciate every last one of y'all uh, tuning in, and um, you said I should do, do a video on sex appeal, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna have to do that soon, man, I'm gonna have to do that soon, what, what I was trying to do, I might do this, I'm not, I might, I'm not sure... I was going to do a video on Patreon. Let me know what you guys think. And my, my wife actually came up with this idea. She was like, you should do a video that teaches guys how to get their girlfriend to be okay with them fucking other chicks. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> so if you want to know how to get your girl to be cool with you fucking other girls, let me know so I can put that together for you guys. You feel what I'm saying? Because, you know, I, I know cats, you know, been hitting me up. I had a few cats ask me that question, too. You feel what I'm saying? But, um, but yeah, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'll probably do that and put that on the Patreon, too. And, and, and let you guys see what's popping with that. But, um, but, yo, listen. You guys have a good night. Let me shout out to the people in the room. Shout out to uh, Defro Camp, Antonio Moses, Jermaine Jones, Female Pimp. Female Pimp, you need to call one day and stop, stop fucking around. Uh, my dude, Vic Damone, shout out to you. Uh, Ryan Gurrier, shout out to you. Shaddy Ratty. Uh, <laughs> you guys in these fucking screen names, when the cheese begins to smell, you know, that's hilarious. Shout out to you, Frank True TV. Oh, I didn't even know Frank Truth was up in the spot. Frank True TV, shout out to you. Um, who else? Russell Austin. Shout out to Buffy Buffool. Javon Shout out to you for calling in. Uh, who else we had up in here? Enemies Defeated. Shout out to you, Ellie Empire. Scarface in the building. The Diamond Life. Um, who else is up in here? Breezy J. Um, go to Go T Juice. Ty Banks. And, I, and yo, I want to shout out to y'all for sticking with me because earlier the fucking stream was like fucked up and everything. So I appreciate you guys still rocking with me. Um, Keith Kinsey. Who else? Black Cherry Bun. Who else is up in the spot? Jay is up in the spot. Um, who else? Teddy Bear. Hoon Chun Young. Shout out to you. Oh, you up in Korea? That's what's up. That's what's up. Shout out to everybody up in Korea. Who else? We got Ran64. Um, damn, there's a lot of people up in here, man. But yo, I appreciate everybody. Um, I will see you guys either Friday, well, of course Friday, but maybe Wednesday. So you guys have a good night or good morning, whatever it is for you. And I'll talk to you soon. Remember, the truth is inside you. Peace. I'm gone.